the playback, Father. Hallelujah, right now in your precious name, Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Abba. Ha kusianda resiando, rebeki andare mosi, roko toko raie te tarre. Hallelujah. Ha kuru nanda resiende mosi, roko toko raba tanda resiende. Hallelujah, we bless your name, Father. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Lord, that someone will hear your word on today, Father. Hallelujah, and turn their lives, hallelujah, around through you, Father. Hallelujah, that salvation is their portion on today, Father. Hallelujah, that their name be written in the book of life, Father. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that today someone will return back to their rightful place in you, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus, that they become uncomfortable, so uncomfortable, Father. Hallelujah, of walking in error, Father, and return back to you and repent, Father. We thank you, we thank you for it on today, Father. We bless your name for it on today, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you, Father, that you be glorified on today, Father. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Oh, we bless your name, Baba. Hallelujah, bless your name, Lord. Lord, we thank you, 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 Father. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we just praise you on today, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord, we offer a sacrifice of praise on today, Father. Hallelujah for your goodness, for your mercy, for your grace, Father. Hallelujah, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah that our hope is in you, Father. Hallelujah, we just praise you on this morning, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name, Papa. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Oh, we praise your name, Father, that no weapon, hallelujah, formed against this room. Hallelujah, and anyone in it prospers right now in your precious name, Papa. We thank you, anyone on Facebook, Lord. Hallelujah, we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, we praise your name. Hallelujah, your precious name, Father. Hakasu o remeshi kuraba. Eti andare ki andoro kuraba she. Remeshi andaram. Eti ande yeshanda Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, your precious name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello everybody. This is Apostle Parchment. Welcome here alive. We are on Facebook and Clubhouse. Amen. And the topic we're talking about today is forgiveness. This is one topic. It's not talked about a lot because there seems to be a problem in a lot of people of forgiving one another. So many people hold stuff in their heart against one another. And uh it is sad to say that people don't let things go they hold things and and don't let it go and this particular uh, 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 a sin it's a sin when you don't forgive it's a sin when you don't ask for forgiveness amen don't ask jesus to forgive you and so many people um uh, in that uh, uh position right now um uh, not forgiving so this is the part of blaspheming the holy ghost amen not asking god to for uh uh, uh to uh forgive you not don't just forgive you he's here to forgive you forgive those that come against you now this uh, this is a phenomenal thing that's going on for ages and ages it's been going on ever since adam and eve amen but cain uh, and a a could not ask for forgiveness he was dead and his blood was crying out from the ground amen 
because of jealousy. This this sin of forgiveness can get you to hell. Amen. And God said the reason to talk about this is because a lot of people are walking in unforgiveness. Amen. Holding grudges still has not let go. Amen. And three things uh, uh, that is required to do is write this down. Admit you was wrong. Even if you're not wrong, admit it. Say, I'm sorry. Admit you're wrong. Admit you're sorry. If you feel the person feel you did something to them. Amen. Admit it. Quit it. And forget it. Quit doing the same thing, making excuses over of holding stuff in your heart. You feel betrayed. You feel overlooked. You feel that uh, someone really, really hurt your feelings. Amen. And whatever. But we have to learn that if Christ has forgiven us, we should learn how to forgive others as well. But a, a lot of times uh, when uh, people has did people wrong, betrayed them, uh, they trust, betrayed their trust, confidence in them, they have a tendency of getting back to someone. And that's the wrong thing to do. Amen. Because when you walk in the love of God, it, it helps you to forgive those. Amen. It's kind of hard for yourself, but through the help of the Holy Spirit, He helps you to forgive. The, the Word of God said, the love of God covers a multitude of sin. Means God, God's divine love, if it covers a multitude of sin, that it covers a multitude, if it covers a multitude of sin in our life, we should be able to cover a multitude of sin in their life by asking them uh, to forgive them for what they did to us. Amen. And we find a lot of cases, people are still holding stuff since they were childhood, still holding stuff in the past, amen, past relationship, or whatever, amen, holding grudges, and haven't really let it go, amen, it is sad. And you'd be surprised, and everybody telling people, rest in, rest, rest in him, or rest in heaven, or rest in peace. Now, you ain't going to rest in heaven or peace if you don't forgive them. And it's important that we forgive, because it, what it brings in bitterness, and brings in a God of bitterness, and a God of bitterness is really rough, amen, really bad, amen. And it brings in jealousy, and it brings in fear, and it brings in uh, retaliation, it brings in rebellion, which is a sign of witchcraft, it brings in manipulated, revelation, it brings in the spirit of uh, uh, sabotage, it brings in a subtype spirit, it brings in the spirit of anger, it brings all types of evil spirits in the life. Amen. People don't realize that when you don't forgive, you open a door. For the enemy to come in, all he needs is one door to come in, and he'll come in and cause a lot of issues, amen. And this happened to a lot of people, amen. They say they forgive, but they don't really forgive. And it's caused a lot of issues in people's life, and they wonder why things are not happening. Wait, amen, they get mad if they got their feelings hurt. They get mad if uh, they don't like what's going on. They get mad if something you say they didn't like. Uh, they just get mad, period, amen. So we live in a time that we must understand that that our weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but it's mighty to God pulling out strongholds. We know that the enemy is looking for all tricks in the way to keep you from going to heaven, to keep you angry, to keep you mad, to keep you uh, not letting go and forgive others. So we have to understand that he's working triple time because Jesus is coming back. So we need to recognize it. That's why it's so important that we need to learn how to walk in the spirit. Those that are Christian. I can understand those that are not Christian don't understand. But you as a Christian should set an example to others. And I said that a lot of them do not set an example to others about uh, uh, about uh, by forgiving. Amen. Because people are still holding stuff from the past. Or oh, you know my parents did me wrong. Or some been molested. Uh, violated. Uh betrayed and all this but show me a perfect world that you are not going to be betrayed or violated uh, uh, like that i know it sounds harsh but it's not harsh amen because uh this this is not a perfect world if it was a perfect world we would need god we would need jesus amen so there is a time where you will be uh uh uh, uh come against for no apparent reason uh accused for no apparent reason lie about no apparent reason or did somebody just want to do something against you because they don't like how you look uh, amen and the jealousy <coughs> is one of the bad spirit that's really caused uh, unforgiveness because so many people walk in jealousy amen they don't want to i do them uh if you say just one thing they they get mad snap like that you know they're walking in anxiety stress and depressed so the only way you can overcome really forgiveness is through the help of the Holy Spirit by telling you to walk in love. Now, walk in God's love, you can't, it's not easy to walk in the love by yourself. First of all, you have accepted the gift of salvation, uh, accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And he will come in, in the Holy Spirit and live in you and help you if you want help. 
I want to, I, you know, I question, do people really want help? You know, I think people love to get back and challenge people for what they did. They love to make people angry. They love the people. What is it, Pastor? You make angry? No, I tell the truth. And people get angry, tell the truth. Amen. Amen. People now these days just get angry, period. Amen. And they hold stuff in their heart. And if you don't get rid of it, you're not going no heaven. Amen. And people don't realize that. So I'm going to give you a couple of scripture and then I'm going to go over it. Amen. Because it, uh, God is saying that this is like almost like for the Holy Ghost. Amen. If the Holy Spirit, uh, uh, your heart say forgive, but you don't forgive, you're going to end a place that God has not ordained you to go. God did not ordain you to go to hell. He ordained you to go to heaven. That goes anybody in the world. So it's not just uh, 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 the Jews and the uh, Gentiles. It's for everybody. Amen. He, why would he say in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That God did not send his Son to condemn the world, to judge the world through him, that they might be saved. But that question, do people really want to stay saved? Are they so comfortable uh, getting back at somebody? They always challenge somebody uh, what they don't like. We got a lot of immature uh, people in the world. And we got a lot of immature Christians. Amen. They don't want to stop the fight, the truth. Amen. That people will mess up. They're looking for a perfect vessel. There's no one perfect even in Christianity. There's no only one perfect is Jesus Christ. Amen. If we were so perfect, then God would not come and as a person, as the Son of God, Son of God, Son of Man, Jesus Christ, as a person. Amen. Because He was a person as well. Amen. He uh, came to Adam. Amen. But the difference with Adam was that uh, he was not perfect, but he was like God because he was smart. And the second animal, God personally came Himself. Amen. Because they was not listening. Amen. And it's sad. It's going on right now more than ever before the coming of Jesus Christ. We got so much a fight going on who gonna do this and do it's just like so it's like a hatred a competition it remind me in the book of genesis the, uh the th third fourth fifth chapter when he talks about king how he killed his brother because he thought that god loved him more and aid more than a uh, uh, king and that was not true amen god is no respected person if you read in the book of galatians the third chapter verse 28 there's no there's no male or female there's no jew or greek there's no one in other words there's no one superiority uh, 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 at all that god loves more amen that's not true. That's a lie from the pits of hell. That's the enemy that comes to kill in John 10, 10, destroy and deceive the world. Amen. He comes to abort the plans of God. And some of you sit there and entertain him too much. Listen to him. Amen. And I know we're going to a transition of this here uh, 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 going on like a, a inflation. Uh, ain't got enough of the bottle of uh, 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 the milk and the killing in Texas. Uh, amen. This is the devil work. This is not man work. Amen. This is the devil work. I don't care how much you try to plan something. The only way safe is the people is going to be safe, your children safe, is through the help of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The spiritual help is more stronger than natural help. I know that we have the police because they in the Bible as community. Uh, they are there for the community. Amen. To help. And thank God we do have police. Uh, people go around and kill each other because they met with someone because they did them wrong and all this other stuff. It's like an ongoing thing of hatred and bitterness. Amen. And you guys, when it's going to stop, it's, it's not going to stop. Amen. It may stop a little bit ago, go, uh, still going. Why? Because as long as Satan is, is still here, He's going to do his best to tear down the people. He's going to do his best to discourage people. He's going to do his best to cause uh, division, discord among one another. You see, a house divided can say, see, he's divided. He lost everything when he was, he, was, he, was, he was put out of heaven. Amen. He lost it, but he wants you to think he's still in control. He's not in control. He's only control if you allow him control. Amen. And so it's just so much, you know, if you look at a person the wrong way, you know, they get mad with you because they're holding stuff from uh, uh, from last year. They're holding stuff uh, from 20 years ago, 30 years ago, or yesterday. Or holding stuff since they was a child. They're blaming God. Why did this happen? Amen. Why did God get everyone a free will to do what's right? Amen. And so the devil is looking for he can mess with someone. That was said about the, uh, uh, the, the what happened, the tragedy of the kids, and the tragedy happened to the grown-ups. Amen. But I realized as I, uh, I see it that that young boy had a demon in her. Now, the people in the world won't think so. He had a demon. He killed his grandma. And I believe that his grandma was trying to stop him. He got mad to kill her. And, and you, know, you look at his background, where he came from. You know, there's so many people 
uh, stressed out and down and torn up, amen, and you know, and this pressure, peer pressure, and they can't take it, amen, and so, you know, I'm praying for the family that lost their loved ones, I'm, I'm praying for even the, his family, amen, and so it's so much of the, well, how you pray, because uh, I can't hold nothing against the one, amen, I'm a Christian, amen, if Jesus took time of a murder on the cross, and a, 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 and a, and a robber, amen, that's how much he loves us, amen, I have seen a lot of people in prison and juvenile de uh, uh, detention center where I go, where I go at, amen, are set free and deliver, amen. So we cannot judge a book by its cover, you know. We can put up all the alarm and everything. Uh, you think they're going to stop somebody killing? No. So, that, see, when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, he puts out a covering protection on you. Now, always there's the people don't cover because the things that they have in heart, amen. And the enemy trying his best to kill them, destroy them, amen. And so we got to let the world know this is a warfare going on, but it's a spiritual warfare. Amen. And time is running out for the Christians to get the act together means that Jesus is on his way back. Amen. Now, nobody know the day and the time when Jesus is coming back to get his bride, but you should always be ready. Amen. And if you have stuff in your heart, you should always ask God to get it out. Amen. Don't hold no stuff in your heart. And this is the problem. People hold stuff in heart. You know, Peter asked a question this. Amen. I love Peter. And people may don't love Peter, but Jesus loved him. Amen. He was just outspoken. And sometimes he was quick to say the things he shouldn't say. Have anybody been there? Sometimes you say something, and, and actually in your heart, you mean it to say it. Amen. But in the book of uh, uh, Matthew's 18 chapter, I got a lot of scriptures to share with you. Verse 21, and Peter asked this about the unlimited forgiveness. He said, uh, later Peter approaches Jesus and said, how many times do I have to forgive? I read from the Passion Testament. How many times? How many times? Do I have to forgive my fellow believer who keeps offending me? How many times? Every time. To, and, and you may be in that place right now. And look like every time you want to do something, your fellow, uh, uh, your fellow uh, 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 believer, amen, is always offending you. And you know why they offend you? Because they want what you have. Amen. They're mad because they feel God love you more. Uh, they're mad because you got a better marriage. They're mad because your ministry is going. Uh, they're just mad, period. Amen. So they look for opportunities to take out on one another. Amen. And that's the trick of the enemy. We have, the enemy is like the spirit of trickster. Playing with the mind. Always playing. It's a mind battle. Amen. Amen. If he can get your attention uh, uh, off the the right thing, that's what he's trying to do. And he's working overtime doing that with Christians and non-Christians. Amen. I believe if that young man had got a, a help, he would have never went out there and killed him. Amen. But we so much focus on our own selfish ways. We don't reach out to people. We don't reach out to our neighborhood. Uh, even the Christians don't reach out. You can tell when someone's crazy. If you're a Christian, Amen. There should be a spirit of discerning upon you. You should ask for a discerning spirit. That's part of the nine gifts of the spirit. Amen. That should be a deadly because people, uh, you can tell when they change by the way they act, their character change. Amen. Some people just look mad. You can talk to them. They just, the way they uh, approach you, the way they open their mouth. Or say, you, can just, you can just tell sense by the spirit. But those not in the world, those in the world can't understand, you know, but they, sh they do because, you know, if you look at somebody the wrong way, they want to jump and kill you. They want to fight you. Amen. For no apparent reason. Why? Because they've taken out their situation on you. So we need to recognize that. Amen. When you see that, that person needs help. They need help. Amen. And the best help is, is, is Christian help. Amen. Spiritual help. That read me from the throne of grace, from the Holy Spirit. Those are not saved. But those are, uh, 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 those are saved. But those are not saved. It's sad that we are Christian. What are you doing? What are you actually doing? Are you too busy building up your own, your own platform? Are you too busy building up your, your small K kingdom? Amen. And not let people see uh, the kingdom of God in you? What are you doing? I look for opportunity to witness to the people. I look for opportunity to minister to the people wherever I go. Amen. Because there's someone needs to know Jesus. There's someone needs to know whatever you go through, there is hope in Christ Jesus. Amen. And God loves you. Amen. Now, I may be a little rough because we see rough that spirit. Amen. That tough love. And some people, there's a, a, a pity part. They don't want to change. Amen. But then God has given you the opportunity and that authority. Amen. To bind up those spirits in those people. Amen. Because the uh, if the devil works over time, what is the Christian doing? Amen. The harvest is ready. 
What is the Christian? Name? Where's the labor to actually minister to the people? Or you have to wait till you get the church to do it. Uh, and put on a show when you get to church. And hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And then when you go to the store outside and you go out there by your neighbor, you can't see what's going on. Amen. And the first thing, if I see my neighbor acting up, I come again and start praying. Even if they don't want to talk to me, I stop binding up. The Holy Spirit stop praying. Amen. We need to take authority. We need to walk in authority. There's so many people dying, don't need to die so quick. And the enemy is doing his best to take as many people out as he can. And especially Christians. We are Christians need to be on top of things. How? That daily walk in that word of God. Because the more you get in the word of God, the more you understand the word of God, the more the, the word of God said Matthew 6, 33. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The word seek means we need to search and acquire God. And you as Christians, are you seeking God every day? Are you so busy trying to know to get into somebody's business, find out what's going on, or you could get the, the, the G news, amen, the gospel news, not the gospel, gospel first news amen telling about every business instead of uh, uh, praying uh, ask god to get build your business and you got more turmoil going to your home amen you, your marriage is on the rock your children about to drive you crazy but yet you want to go by somebody what is that that is and that is what is that that's a sign right there that that person is hurt that's a sign of right there that person is going to some going to something right now and they need help but see, they too, they too uh, uh, pride to admit they didn't need help. And so what they do, they open up the door for the enemy to come in. He's looking for ways to come in to destroy you. He don't want you to go to heaven. He wants you to go to hell. Amen. Before the coming of Jesus Christ, he wants many people to go to hell instead of going to heaven. So we as Christians need to recognize, we need to spend time with God. We need to seek his face. Amen. We need to acquire him all the time. Amen. And, and I don't know what they're doing. They're ready to get a prophecy. The word of God is prophetic. Amen. If you seek first the kingdom of God, he will let you know actually what's going on. He will warn you and prevent things that happen. If he won Adam and Eve, then what's the problem that you can't seek God and let him warn you what's going around you? Amen. You know, we have to let God get rid of the stuff. So Peter asked this question. So how many times shall I forget my fellow believers? Amen. Who keeps offending me? Seven, seventy times seven. Amen. Seventy times. So Jesus answered said, not seven times, Peter, but seventy times, seven times. This is a lesson of forgiveness in heaven, kingdom, realm can be illustrated. Amen. Like that. Amen. We, uh, I'm not going to go into that next one, but you know, it all depends on the individual. Amen. You know, uh, every day in our life, the word of God says in Romans 8, we are like sheep that slaughter. The wolf is Satan. So he looked at little wolves in the body of Christ to follow him that he can slaughter as many sheep as he can. In other words, what you saying, Apostle? To, to, to discourage them, to stop them, to trust in God. Amen. Uh, amen. He looks for opportunity. Amen. To uh, offend the body of Christ. He looked for opportunity to have uh, offended with your husband, your ex-husband, your ex-wife, with your wife, with your children, your family member, your parents, or grandparents, you name it. Amen. Now that on your job, in your business, in your ministry, among one another, people in the world, your name. He looked for opportunities to bring in discord. He looks for opportunity to bring in anger, you know, make people get mad at each other for, for no reason at all, you know, because he can't stand the fight that we are children of God. He can't stand the fight that, that the love of God is so powerful in us that it can hinder what the works of the devil. We don't realize the greater one in us than he is in the world when it said in 1 John, the fourth chapter, verse 5, says, ye are children of God because great is he that's in you than he is in the world. Now, if, when you start saying that what you're doing, you let him know that you can't live with me. You can't have the Holy Spirit and the devil as well. Amen. So you let him know, uh-uh, devil. You you don't live with me. The greater ones live with me. And you're not great among the great I am. Hallelujah. The most high God. You're not greater than that. You are out to deceive and bring destruction and to destroy every purpose and plan of God for people to stop believing that God can deliver the people and set them free. Amen. Hallelujah. Even the people in the world, amen, there is nothing too hard for God can do. We have to understand that the word of God said in Jeremiah, say, behold, he is God of all flesh. Behold, he is God of all flesh. Amen. Take this and listen to it. He is God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for him to do? No. Now, man it is. 
Because man will never accomplish and be succeed, be successful as God. He is the creator. He is the one that created everything. Man cannot do it. He's been trying to figure out how to wear this God out. How can this one God can do all this and you can't see him? How can he challenge? How can he do all these miracles? How can he bring things in order? How can he do it? Because he is the creator. He said uh, a revelation, the first chapter, verse 8. He said, I am the uh, Alpha Omega. means I am the beginning and the end. Who is? Who was and who is to come? There's no one like me. Like he told Moses when he went to uh, set the uh, the children free, the Israelite children. Amen. And and Moses said, "Who should I tell me yet? They say I am that I am. Means there's no one, but one like me. Amen. Hallelujah. But once we understand who he is, then we, we understand we we get a better idea how to defeat the enemy through the word of God. All through the Bible shows you he was defeated. In the beginning, he was defeated. Amen. He come as a subtle spirit, means uh, try to come as uh, cunning and wise, in which he's a dummy. He only comes smart if you let him do it. Amen. He can't live out, out, out somebody. He got to live inside to cause problems. Amen. He wants to come in, oh, uh, come in your, your house. I mean, your inner house, you right here. Amen. Not your house that you are built by man. Amen. The house that built by God, the body. That's what he wants to do. And once he, you, or he, or he is uh, asking the invitation to come in. Amen. It's like he come as this, a spirit of deception, coming as an angel of light to deceive you to come in, for he can destroy you. Amen. So many innocent people have been destroyed. So many innocent Christians have been destroyed because they have opened the door for the enemy to come in. Amen. Carrying grudges, carrying bitterness, carrying hurt, carrying pain, you name it, carrying anger, all this, and, and this jealousy and fear, all this is all ball in it. I, I can't understand how in the world they have all that garbage in them and carry all that weight that's going to cause them to miss out, going to cause them to lose their soul. But I, I think that people, I don't think so. There's a lot of people, even Christians, love to be miserable. Amen. And you know, misery, love, misery. You know, they can't stand the fact that you got that joy. They can't stand the fact you got that peace. Why? Because you got the attribute and the character of God. Now, how do the character of God activate in our life daily? When we allow the Holy Spirit to activate it. When we allow the Holy Spirit to do it. Amen. And that comes from praying and getting that word. Amen. The more you get in the word, the more you feed yourself. Amen. Just like you get the more you're hungry. I, got, I need some eat. Amen. I got it, my stomach empty. I got to fill it up. Amen. And so many times we fill ourselves with the wrong thing. Amen. And then we wonder why we have an upset stomach, acting reflex. Amen. Because we're filling up our system with the wrong information. We're filling ourselves with the bitterness and angry. We have not let it go because we're holding stuff that we need to let go. I find out uh, uh, that if when you let things go, you feel much better. The more I read the word, the more I understand. The more I, I allow the Holy Spirit to, to direct my life and to, to, the, to the right way, I understand more what the world is, is, is worth holding something in your heart. I mean, come on now. Amen. You know what I find? You age quicker. You get more wrinkles quicker. I'm 70 years old and I don't have, I don't have no wrinkles. Amen. That means a couple, but I don't really have no wrinkles. Because I learned to let go. The Holy Spirit helped me. Amen. And you know, you feel so much better. It's like you're carrying a heavy load. Amen. You carry too much. Amen. You carry too much laundry. Amen. And you know, it's like when you get your laundry washed, you know, you amen. And so many people try to put too much in a, in a load. You may get a heavy load machine. And so you say, well, let me put all this in a heavy load. Let me put the, uh, the, uh, uh, the comforter in there. Let me put the rug in there. Let me put the sheets in there. Let me put the towels in there. Let me put all this in there. Amen. And then you wonder why it's not clean. You know, you wonder why it's not clean because you have put too much in that in that machine. In other words, you have put too much in you. You carry too much laundry. God didn't tell us to carry all that. He didn't tell us. He said, come unto me, all you heaven ladies, for my burden is light and my yoke is easy. He said, come unto me. And then he said in First Peter, the uh, the fifth chapter, he said, cast all your cares. It says amplify. I like what it says amplify. Cast all your cares once and for all to him. Have you cast it off? You, and, and, and no, you, you're carrying too much laundry, too much dirty laundry. I mean, things that going to cause you to sin, cause things to bring affliction. A lot of people are sick because they got too much uh, uh, dirty laundry in them. Amen. They have allowed all that dirty laundry. And it's not, you're not letting let it be clean. They use Tide, they use uh, 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 bleach, whatever. You could do all that. 
But when you allow the Holy Spirit to come in and clean that laundry, and when it's time to dry up, that you baby to know who you are and baby to walk, that that it, uh, uh, it, 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 it get clean, amen. And the things that you've been carrying, to let go, amen. Some of you carry heavy weight too much, amen. You gotta learn allow the Holy Spirit to clean yourself, clean your laundry, clean the old ways, and and bring in the new ways. The Bible said when you come in Christ, you become a new creature. In other words, all yeah. things pass away, and behold, everything come brand new. Now, who has not been hurt? Who has not been challenged? Who has not been lied on? Who has not been whatever, violated and everything else and been a, a blight male? I mean, it's a daily thing out there. Even it's out there before the inflation. Amen. There's people. It's not going to change no matter what. Because they won't change until they get back to somebody. They've been hurt. They've been overlooked. Amen. And, and they're still in the past. But they try to take all that laundry that they watch. Amen. And put in the machine. I hope that it dry and clean up. Well, the same thing. People try to take their dirty laundry that they clean, amen, was clean, uh, amen, and take it over to the next place in their life, the next chapter of life, and it still has not solved anything. Well, they're still back at day one, still walking with hurt and pain, still walking with unforgiveness, amen. And so, therefore, we got to get to the point point, say, enough is enough. Why, what does it take for you to realize that that this is the trick of the enemy? And the people in the world may not understand because they're mad because they've been molested. They're mad because they've been hurt. Amen. They're mad, period. Amen. And, if, and, you can, and you can't buy no happiness. I don't care how much you give a person money or give them this and give them that. That's not going to make them happy until they get rid of the old weights they're carrying, the old done, uh, dirty laundry. Amen. And, and try to bring it into the new, in the future, in the present, in the future. It's not going to work. Amen. Amen. But when they make up their mind, say, you know what? I, you know, I've been carrying this for a long time, and it's time to release it. So Peter says, well, uh, um, this person did me wrong. My brother did me wrong. Uh, uh, how many times I got to do, uh, 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 really forgive him? Seventy times. Seven, seven times. Seven. That's a lot of time. Means that's like the whole day, two days, three days. Amen. And, you know, ain't nobody going to do all day long, 740 days time to forgive somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. So we need the Holy Spirit to help us, amen, to keep us from falling in that trap, amen, that trap that was set before us that we don't forgive, amen. Hallelujah, somebody, amen. Hallelujah. We make it complicated, you know, people, you know, people make choices, so they got to blame somebody for their choices, amen, they make excuses, they got to use somebody, amen, to make them feel good, because they don't want nobody to know they're all that and all that, and I, in reality, actually, that they, they are really making a, uh, they go go to school, go to course, taking up a course, amen, how to keep things and, and how to deal with people and hold this and get them back or kill them or get them back and do the wrong like they did the wrong. This time I'll give them a double like they give them. No, I'm going to give them a triple back. No, I'm going to give them a car triple back. Amen. And does that make any sense? No. That makes matters worse. Yes, it does. We think it's, uh, it's easy, but, you know, it's actually in reality, even in the uh, humanly speaking, it's hard to forgive somebody. But in the spiritual realm, it is easy because we have the help to help us. The Holy Spirit, which is God himself in the spirit. The Holy Spirit, which is Jesus himself in the spirit. He's the best psychiatrist you're going to go to. Oh, yes, he is. He's 100% man and he's 100% God. Amen. When you are challenged, what are we going to? Uh, you're challenged of uh, being hurt. You've been challenged, been offended. You've been challenged, been lied on. You've been challenged, been betrayed, or whatever it is. You know, you as a Christian... Has the best help in the world. You got the Holy Spirit, who's who's, who's Jesus, the Lord and Savior, who's, who's God, the Spirit, all in one. They're right there helping you. The Word of God says, John the fourteenth chapter verse sixteen said, Jesus said, "I go away." Now Jesus ain't here; he's at the right hand of the Father. But the Holy Spirit represents Jesus. The Holy Spirit represents God as well, there to help you. You know the Bible says in Matthew the seventh chapter, Amen. In the seventh chapter say, ask and you shall receive. Have you been asking him to how to help you? You shall, and if you ask him, you're going to receive the right information. You're going to receive the right wisdom, which is the wisdom from God. You're going to receive the right knowledge, which is the knowledge of God. Not only that, you're going to receive a better understanding that you won't be deceived by the trickster, the devil. Amen. Because he's playing trick. He's like a trick or treat uh, uh, 365 days. He always trying to give you a treat, a lie, and trick you, another lie. Amen. To deceive you and make you think that God does not love you and don't care. 
He want to take as many people to hell and want people to be left behind because he, he's mad because he lost it all. But who fault was it? His fault. Because he thought he was going to be, oh, I'm going to exhort myself and I'm going to be about God. I'm going to be that and all this other stuff and everything else. And God said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to outdo God and people going to come to me. And he go on and on. And, and people sit there and listen to him. Amen. And he, he gets it until he got your attention. And it's sad. He got a lot of people's attention. They don't realize that the, the devil looking ways to get your attention especially when you've been to a a dramatic thing a melodrama thing amen amen and uh in a situation it may be in a marriage maybe in a relationship amen maybe friendship maybe in a ministry maybe on a job he looking for ways to bring a melodrama to keep you in that position he don't want you to be happy amen he don't want you walk in joy amen you got to understand when you look yourself in the mirror, you may see, I may see Lois, but if you look again, there's somebody else that's shining through me and that's God who created me. But see, he don't want you to see that. He said, you're ugly. You need to put on some makeup. You're ugly. You need to do this here. And you sit there and listen to that food. God don't tell you ugly. You are wonderfully marvelous made. You may not look like that person. You may look different than that person. But in God's eyes, you are his masterpiece. Oh, I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. Amen. You are his masterpiece. He loves you so much. He took time and made you from dirt. Took you from dirt, created a man, and then took man, put him to sleep, and took the woman out of the real and made woman. Amen. Amen. He was very pleased what he met because that was his masterpiece. Why is it so hard to be pleased to be a child of God? Why is we trying to perfect, make things perfect ourselves? The last time I read the Bible, what it says, that Jesus, in Hebrews, uh, 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 that Jesus is the author and the finish of our faith. Amen. But you think that you're the author and finish of your faith because you think you can solve the problem. And the best one who can solve the problem is the Holy Spirit. But do we allow him to take time to do it? No. We're so busy focused on, oh, uh, let me see what I can do. Uh, 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 the Holy Spirit is taking uh, uh, too, it's too slow. And, he, and he's taking slow and I, 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 and I ain't got no patience. That's it. That is, that's it. You hit it. You hit it. You hit it right there, Holy Spirit. They losing patience. That's it. Patient and waiting. Patient expecting patient unpatient looking out persevering suffering they said well i don't suffer enough now why should i wait now amen you know they didn't wait and they got it and, oh, and they go on and go on and talk and talk and talk and and then what happened they have entertained that negativity that thought amen they have opened up for the wickedness of satan to come in to deceive them amen put a trickster of a deception sentence in their mind grandma in other words the whole uh, uh talk is totally different they were talking different uh 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 joy but he can't stand you have joy he's mad because he lost it all he mad because he's divided he mad because this call he can't do nothing he can't cast out he ain't can't strong he's mad because he mad with that relationship with god he lost it who fault is it? his fault so he goes around looking he can blame us children of god if he can blame children of god he take a innocent person who is suffering who is depressed who been went through a lot the mama has disowned him the father has disowned him the family don't like them the uh they was violated they was raped molested he looks for opportunity that people has went to that for he could destroy them amen and said where is i don't want if i were you i wouldn't serve him because god if he was god why did he allow this to happen amen that's the first thing and sit there and people sit that even people not saved, they sit there and listen to that food. Amen. Say, oh, you got a point there, and they think they're talking. Uh, 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 they 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 talk. They actually talk to the devil. They entertain the devil. And you remember when you was a child? I used to have imaginary friends. You know, I call it Ponticella. But I find imaginary friend with no friends. There was spirits trying to come in my life. Amen. Caused me to be bad, and I tried to be a good little girl, but being good ain't gonna get you there. Amen. I don't care how good you say, you can't never be good. Nobody's good but God. Amen. So he tried to place things in your mind. He tried to bring imagination. You know, just like the word of God said, cast out all imagination. The word imagination means cast out any augmentation, any, anything, syllables or anything, sentence or anything. Grandma going to cause you to be offended and afflicted as well. Amen. 
you know Amen. and so we get to be very careful who we entertain so many times we we think we entertain god but we entertain spirits amen god is not going to have you do something against his word because god is love well you say well how god love he don't uh he don't like uh, two men and two women no he don't because that wasn't that wasn't his case he created he don't hate them he just hate the sin the sin that they do amen Come on, somebody. I don't hate them. I just hate the sin like God do. Amen. And, and no matter what, sin is sin. Amen. But you, but, but the enemy always got to uh, uh, try to be wise. Come with some crooked ideas. Come with some bad ideas to, to get your attention. And you know, sad to say, he got a lot of people's attention, especially Christians. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad to say. Because they're so busy competing, competing each other. They can't take the tough love for God. You know why God tough love? That's discipline. You know why? Because he keeps us from falling into the trap of the devil. Now everybody said, oh, they, why did my need to be removed? Oh, why did God be that way? Oh, did he have to go there? And if he put you, and don't you be in a pity corner. You be like the man that drank alcohol. Nobody know. <gasps> Like he hip come and say, the trouble I've been, <gasps> maybe I have another drink. <gasps> I dry up. <gasps> and you be drinking, amen. And, and you find yourself going back because you find yourself lost. You find yourself in another world. You find yourself in a place that you shouldn't be in. Amen. amen. And so God said, you sit there listen to that food because he don't want you to be blessed. I didn't say that everything this world, he didn't create, no, he didn't create a perfect world. But he created, he wanted companionship. Amen, a family. Think about what he made you because for himself. Amen. When you leave here and if you go to heaven, there ain't going to be no marriage. Then your husband, well, I can't wait to see my husband. Then your husband going to be your brother. I can't wait to see my wife. They're going to be your sister. It's going to be one family. Amen. Are they going to be in one home? Who says so? You don't know where they're going to be at. Because if it was, if you married four times, then you, then all y'all gonna be, uh, 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 no, it's all what God wants, Amen. The devil is so busy. Then why are we not busy getting closer to Jesus? We always say, well, you know what? The devil busy. Of course he's busy, because he wants your attention. He wants to be entertained. You know, and I find that so many times that you entertain the devil more. Uh, uh, listen to the Holy Spirit. Those that are children of God. Because the people in the world, they want attention. So, you know, that whatever it takes for them to get attention, amen, that's that's entertaining. They want to be entertained. They want to be recognized. Why? They can't stand to be rejection. That spirit of rejection is a bad spirit. What you say, Apostle? That is a bad spirit. In the in the Lord and out of the Lord. Wow. You didn't know that? No. Oh, it brings in insecurity. It brings in jealousy. Which is a competition spirit. It brings in anger. It brings in bitterness. Oh no. What I'm doing. Retaliation. To get back at somebody for what they did to you. Oh. It brings in a murder spirit. I want to murder that person. I want to kill that person for what they did to me. I want them to make it. Let them feel how, how they made me suffer. How they made me to go through this. They don't know what I went through. I want to kill them. That's what the enemy wants to do. When those are saved and unsaved, we got people unsaved. We got people saved. This is guilty the one unsaved. They sit there and listen to him. Or they say, well, she didn't need to go that way. My mother didn't need to go. My father didn't need to go that way. Why did they allow this to happen? Why did they allow my uncle, my brother, himself, my daddy, uh, my mother, uh, my aunt, a uh, 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 friend to mess with me? I'm innocent. Why Why did she so busy uh, let me be born? I should be able to born it. That's how the devil wants you to think. You, whether you was uh, 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 was born with the, with the regular parents, uh, uh, parents, single parent, you just said, boy, you're not a bastard. A bastard is an illegitimate child. Not an illegitimate child because they don't have the mother. Not an illegitimate child because they got no father. They're an illegitimate child because uh, uh, they, 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 uh, uh, they belong to the devil. They made that decision that they be cheering of the devil. He don't care nothing about you. There was a woman. This is a true story. 
This was a woman, Mary Bassett wrote, amen. And she, uh, in her book, amen, about hell, amen. And she worked for the devil. She got so many souls for the devil. And the devil told her this. You win all these souls for me. You When you get to hell, you're going to have a mansion. You're going to have all this. You're going to have all that. And all this and all that. And all this and all that. Well, guess what? She went to hell. And the devil said, you fool. Amen. He said, you fool. You should have never turned your back on God. You know, it reminds me what he tried to do with Jesus in Matthew, the fourth chapter. You know, when Jesus had just got a, a good prophetic word, amen, and then the Holy Spirit led him in the wilderness. Why did he lead him in the wilderness? To, to understand that you're going to be tested and trial, but at the same time, what are you going to do? You're going to allow the enemy to continue to deceive you? You're going to allow the enemy to cause problems, amen? Amen. He went in there. He was the perfect example to the whole Bible. Every, that all the characters, you can learn a lot from those characters. Amen. you talking about we crazy. Read and read the Bible. Amen. And let the Holy Spirit of God. They, they did some stuff in there. Come on, somebody. Hello. Amen. You know, you can learn a lot. You can learn a lot of revelation, revealing God's plans in the life. Amen. Uh, Old Testament is proclaiming God who he is. And again, New Testament really proclaim God who He is, who's He, and He, who He could be as a person, and who could be as a God. Amen. And what kind of power He has to His, to His Son and through the Spirit, they all same one, both hundred percent God, hundred percent man. Amen. And He says, we can really make it if we allow Him, to, uh, allow Him to direct us. We allow Him to live, lead us. Amen. You know, the Bible says in uh, Romans eight said, "Them that are led by the Spirit." Of the sons of God, the children of God. It's a daily walk. Amen. If you miss one day, you can miss what you, you got. You already in the trap of the devil. He's looking away to put praise, uh, a trap for the prey, because you his prey, I mean, to destroy you. Amen. He's looking for ways to deceive you and keep you from getting close to God. And it's sad to say a lot of people has fallen into that trap. Amen. And a lot of people fall into that uh, that way. Amen. And instead of looking at it, and so what happened? Instead of Allowing the Holy Spirit to direct them, to help them every day. They take upon themselves, well, you know, I know the Holy Spirit is there to help me. I know the Holy Spirit is there to direct me. But you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to have the Holy Spirit out today. Okay. <laughs> you know what the problem is? So many trying to be God. Amen. He said, be like him. You ain't God. If you're God, then you have created the earth. You have created man. You created what? You, you be the creator. Amen. You be perfect. And you know some people think that way. Oh yes, and that's why they they can't. They, that's why they can't never be free because they're trying to be someone who they're not. He said, "Be like him." And now, in other cases, they try to be like somebody else, and that's why they suffer so much consequences. And a lot of things are prevented because they're trying to do something that they're out of balance. You know, we need to have a balanced life. And therefore, there is many people don't have a balanced life because they're trying to do themselves. They try to accomplish things themselves. Amen. Well, I can do this and I can do that. And then when they get up there, then they then they try more and they may be successful, but they still ain't got no peace. Uh, you could be a billionaire and don't have Jesus, you still ain't got no peace because you ain't taking that money with you. Naked you came in and naked you're going to go out. You you came in naked as a baby and you're going to go naked out as, as a grown-up. But the difference is they're putting clothes on you, make sure you have clothes on. And then you look in the grave, ain't no clothes on. The clothes don't, the clothes don't, uh, 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 the person not in the clothes no more. They go back to where they, where God made them at, from sin, Amen, and Amen. They go back to dirt, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we can save a lot of heartaches if we allow the Holy Spirit to direct us. So many times people quench the Holy Ghost. They grieve them. They vex them. They don't give a, a chance. Those in the Spirit don't give a chance to uh, 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 let them because they 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 walk in the spirit of rejection. Not allowing the Holy Spirit to lead them, not allowing the Holy Spirit to direct them, and so that's why they they come they, they go different direction. They don't know where they're going because they have. Well, it's my thing. Uh, the Holy Spirit is moving too slow for me, and I can't wait for Him because I need something right then. Amen. And don't you know God knows the timing? There's a time and season for everything. There's a time to born. There's a time to live. There's a time to die. There's a time to get healed. There's a time for everything. Everything is already predestinated and ordained on God's assignment appointed time. 
Amen. Amen. And the reason why people mess up because they try to pull things in their own timing. And then they get mad when it don't happen in their own timing. Amen. Then they try to be God. And you can't be God. You could be like him. Amen. Hallelujah. He is no who he is. I will listen to um, Moses in the book of Exodus. I love Old Testament. And I love New Testament. The Old Testament does it graph the new plans of the New Testament. You read it, you see the New Testament in the Old Testament. But do you take time to read it? And uh, uh, do you take time and allow the Holy Spirit to to lead you? My God, when you get in that book from the beginning to end, it will blow your mind. Amen. The challenges that these people face. There's some stay faithful. There's some got unfaithful. There's some got jealous. They're doing the same thing there in the Old Testament they're doing right now in Tulsa. Well, guess what? It's only referencing telling you what's going to happen in the world. What's happening? And you do not know. When you begin to allow the Holy Spirit to give you the wisdom and knowledge, means the revelation, means divine, uh, God's divine uh, 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 purpose and mystery of Him. My God, it will blow your mind. You feel like, oh my word. Oh my God, this actually happened. I thought we was crazy in the world. Read the Old Testament. Oh my gosh, it's exactly telling the New Testament. They were challenged in their marriage. They were challenged being single. They were challenged in every aspect of their life. Well, the same thing has happened in the New Testament. But the difference is... We have a direct connection, a divine connection, a divine heavenly satellite where there's no, no poor connection. It's already connected. That heavenly connection. Amen. Come on, somebody. What you mean, Apostle? We have such a strong heavenly connection that we get in the situation we are because we choose to. We choose not to take time when it's said in the book of Revelation and even in the New Testament say, he that has ear, hear what the Spirit has to say. Now, you know, the phone rang, okay? And sometimes the phone rang, you know, you want to make sure that's the right call because we got so many scams out there. We got so many uh, 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 fake and false and you name it. We got so many wickedness out there and it's hard to name, uh, pick up the phone. That Some people got the phone made. If they just, you pick up the phone, they have a way they can get information of who you are. Or they can go in the email and inbox you and say, well, you know what? You made an order and you owe this and owe that and you didn't did that. Looking for you to say, uh, they even made it so so real that you think it is the right ap application, the right a PayPal, the right bank account, the right bank you have, the right uh, all this. Amen. That's how the enemy does deceive you. For he can steal everything out your account. For he can steal all your information. Which he don't care about you. Amen. People always looking for a quick way out. And then when they find that quick way out, it's not the right way. And then because if they allow that to happen, what happened? They get mad. They get angry. They get sad. And then they're mad with everybody. They're mad with the wife. They're mad with the husband. They're mad with the husband, the wife, the you name it, job, business. Because they allow it to happen. Because God has given everyone a free will to do what's right. He said, choose this day who you shall serve. He gave you that choice. Joshua say, as for me in my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. Now, it may not be easy, but through him, the word of God said in Philippians 4.13, it said we can do all things through Christ who strengthened us, who empowers us to go on. And the reason why the world is such a shaking mess, because they depended on their own strength. What the word strength mean? Their own empower, their own encourage, their own way of doing things. And so what they do, they find themselves basically in the same old, old, old dead weight. In other words, they still at the dead zone, not doing anything, not going away. Amen. And, 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 and you know, let me tell you something. There are people in the dead zone doing something and they unha they unhappy. They miserable. They can make all the money. They can have all this and own this. And then some of them so miserable because they really are not satisfied. Why? Because they don't have no one to help satisfy them. Then what happens? They get angry. They get bitter. They get comp competitive. Amen. And and, and, and and they can't stand. Someone got joy. And they got all the money. I was listening. Amen. That there's a lot of billionaires are living poor. Because they feel that all that money they got, they, they're miserable. 
Amen. They miserable because money cannot buy them the freedom. Money cannot buy them love. But money cannot uh, uh, help them to de be delivered from the past of their old ways, of their old laundry that needs to be cleaned and go into the dryer, in the right dryer to dry up all those things, to, to dry up all the wet, to clean up, to dry up all those things that they've been carrying. Amen. And so they're miserable. So they, they come up, they, they get so uh, uh, bored because they got so much, some got the highest IQ and they get bored real quick because they, they, they are challenged on their life every day what to do. And so therefore, it's hard for them to complement the things, to, comp to com complicate, I mean complement, complicate the things that come uh, happen in life. But see, you as a Christian, you got the Holy Spirit. There's no excuse. So many of you, this, this trigger off the Holy Spirit because he tell you something you don't want to hear. Because that what you want to do is totally different with the Word of God. He's not going to do against God's Word. He's God in the Spirit. He's not going to come against what he's spoken in the Word. But people want, when they're, when they're mad and upset with uh, uh, things, they want the Holy Spirit to agree with the negativity in their heart. And they wonder why they keep going over the same thing over and over and over. It's like they're going in circles. The son said, you got me going in circles? No, you got your own self going in circles. Amen. Amen. You have your own self going in circles. You don't want to be set free. You want to carry their own baggage. You know, so many people, you know, some people 500 pounds, and they realize now the people 500, 600 pounds. Now you look at them now, they, they are, they're exercising. They don't care about you looking at the pound. They, they, they want to get healthy. They want a life change. They, they, they tired of the old ways. They tired of old dead things. Well, we should be at that point as well as Christians. And then that Christian said, you should be tired of the old things doing the same old, same old, same old. Amen. Dead at a dead weight, at a dead zone. Nothing living. Everything dead. Everything don't look good. Singing the same old dead song. Singing the old, the same old dead word. Nothing good is coming at you but dead things. Negative stuff. Amen. You should have a way of getting that. Why are you soaking all that negativity? Amen. Why are you holding on things that you need to let go? All you're doing is age yourself up. You can get all the Botox, all the surgery, but it's not going to change the inside. Amen. I find the best anti-aging is joy, God's love, amen. Because when you allow God, those are saved. When I tell one, those not saved. When they allow God's love to activate in your life, it's just like uh, when we get our hair done, we, we, uh, a perm. You know, we got to. It has the the perm has the all the ingredients. You know, to have the uh, uh, activation. It got the uh, shampoo. It got the condition. Amen. And uh, and we need all that. Amen. So and before we do that, we got to do certain things with hair, and then put on the activated, and then after the activation, we, we you know we got to. Wash your hair first, amen, uh, and then put on uh, uh, the stuff, and then then we put uh, uh, all this stuff, we got to rinse it out, then we put the condition on, amen. And, you know, and it's the same thing, a process as we go through as a child of God. We don't want to get clean, nah? shampoo, let the Holy Ghost clean us. Not just our hair, but our whole body. And then we don't want no, him to condition us. What you mean? Condition us with the Word of God, amen. Hallelujah. We don't want that. You know, we want the same old, you know, and say, well, don't put too much condition on it because you may dry it out. It means to me, in other words, when they're saying that you may dry out the old ways, and that's the, that's, the, that's the key. We need to dry old ways. If we dry the old ways, then maybe we'll be able to accomplish more than we thought we could through him, not ourselves. But we'll be able to fulfill what he has purpose and plan in our life. And it won't be, be uh, when things don't happen, we'll say this in Romans 28 there. Oh, well. I may not understand, but the word of God says all things are working together. Oh, that sounds awesome. That means he's not doing a few things. That means he's doing all things. Oh, yes, he is. He's working behind the scene, in the scene, out of the scene, where there is no scene <laughs> on your behalf. Amen. In other words, he's making a scene to work it out for you that it will be the right scene. That's what I'm talking about. Amen. Because a lot of times, our accomplishments to fill, uh, fulfill our goal, we, we think we've made it there, but we actually haven't made it because we're trying to fulfill it instead of allowing him to direct our life, instead of allowing him to lead our life. So we're not actually accomplishing anything because we're trying to do ourselves. And we wonder why we're there. Amen. And there's some people are trying to compensate and they wonder why they're at a dead dead zone right now. Nothing going there. Or they in local bar. Let me tell you, precious one. God got you like he got a, a Meshach, a Bendigo, a Shadrach, and a Bendigo. He got you there because he got to put you through the fire. 
in order for you to get that promotion, in order to get that place that you need to go, in order to reposition you, to shift the atmosphere in your life, that you say, if he don't deliver me, I'm still going to trust him. If he don't take care of this, I'm still going to love him. If he don't turn things around for me, then it's not going to stop me from believing and receiving what he said in this word. Amen. So we are challenged every day of our walk as Christians to let go things. But some people just still holding on to the dead weight of the things that try to stop them to forgive. So people say, I got to give my brother and sister seven times seven. That's a lot of time. You know, God got to put it there. Mm -hmm. You know, God knows what he's doing. Because he knows that you're going to get tired of saying it. You say, you know what, God? I give in. I'm getting tired of saying, will you forgive me? Will you forgive me? Yeah, I forgive them. I forgive them. I hope they forgive me. Will you forgive me? Will you forgive me? I hope they forgive me. Oh, I don't know. Should I forgive them? Oh, I got to forgive them. Because God said, then you start going in your mind. Your mind start going crazy. Oh, 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 you, oh, oh. And you say, oh, God, do I have to forgive them? Do I forgive them? Will they forgive me? Oh, I don't know where I forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive me. You say, oh, uh, you say, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is I'm talking about? You know, and so God got it like that. Did you get the point? Said, Lord, I can't fight you no more. I'm going to forgive them. I'm going to let it go. It don't make sense to hold on things, grudges in my heart. It don't, it don't make sense to be miserable because I know that's what the devil wants me to be miserable. Amen. That's, that's his plan for you to be miserable. He don't want nobody to be happy. And the only way he don't want you to have no joy. He don't want you to rejoice. He don't want you to say and be honest and say, how you feel today? Well, I tell you this. And you actually mean what you say. If it get any better, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I do know what I'm going to do. I'm going to praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to give God the glory. Amen. I, I didn't understand quite well when he told me that I have to forgive that believer. And I know it was wrong. Seventy times seven. But now I'm beginning to catch on. Before I didn't catch on. Oh my gosh. I don't want to be ignorant of it. Means lack of communication of uh, 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 a lack of awareness of communication. Awareness means a lack of communicating with God. I got it. Oh my gosh, I got it, mommy. Amen. The Holy Spirit just pick a light bulb on my head. I got it. Oh my gosh, I thought I had it, but now I got it. 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 Oh, I see. That was a trick of the devil trying to deceive me. That was the trick of the devil, trying to pull something over me because he didn't want me to forgive my mama, whoever it could be, your daddy, your sister, brother, your ex-husband, ex-wife, the children, I mean, whoever, amen, family member, ex-friend, or ex-one, the job, or ministry, he didn't want me to forgive. I got it now. I didn't understand it. Why we was going in a different direction, why we was going in a different route, amen. What I thought was the right way, it wasn't. Oh, Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. I see now. Amen. That's something. I can see clearly now. The rain is falling. It's gonna be a bright sunshine day. <laughs> I turn that around, Christian. I thought I saw it, but when he began to take the scales off my eyes, now I can see better. I'm not talking about just in the flesh, but in the spirit realm. Oh, I thought I had to be a prophet. Oh, I thought I had to be a seer who was a prophet. Oh, I thought I had to do that. And all I had to do is to trust in the Lord in Proverbs the third chapter, amen, verse 5, and lean, lean forward, lean, lean side, lean, lean back, lean, and oh, I don't know, I'm going to lean, I'm leaning, I'm leaning, I'm going in that direction. But I, I learned that I can lean on God. I'm getting now a better understanding. I'm not as crazy as I thought I was. You understand? <laughs> I'm catching on. Oh, I see the plans of the enemy. He was setting a trap for me. He was set a trap for me to fall in. He wanted me to fall into that plan of his. But the Holy Spirit said, Lord, wake up, Lord, wake up. I was sleeping. And he said, Lord, she'll sleep, you know, like sleeping beauty. She wait for the prince to come in and wake up. Well, I waited for the prince of all, the prince of prince. 
Amen. The Lord of Lord. Hallelujah. The King of King. I waited for Jesus to come in. He woke me up the right time. Hallelujah. He said, Lois, you're going in the wrong direction. <gasps> oh, that's what happened. Yes. Now I got it. Mm -hmm. I got it now. Mm -hmm. I didn't have it before, but I got it now. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking different. I'm seeing different. Because if I would have leaned on my own way, there was a already a trap there for me and that was there was already a ditch there for me to fall in to give up now i see my eyes is open clearly amen i'm not blind no more i mean talking about spiritual blind i'm not spiritual blind now i can see you don't have to see naturally to see there's more people blind in the natural can see better than those that can see because they're very sensitive that's that's honey how they they learn to be sensitive touch feel hear amen that they're not too quick to make the wrong move they want to make the right move amen. amen and see that's what happened a lot of people make the wrong move and they end up in the wrong place amen it's like they're going oh around and around we go around we go around we go and what they do they go in circles they play back patty cake patty cake bake us man bake the cake the best you can <laughs> in other words they try to uh, uh emphasize of the bacon they try to emphasize that they could do better than this. Amen. So they realize that I can't do it. Because when I lean to my own understanding, what happened? Ideas come up. Not ideas from God, but my own ideas, what I think is best. My own intervention, what I think is best. And it's not come directly from the throne of grace. And what happened? I'm losing contact. I'm losing communication. The heavenly connection, my Wi-Fi spiritually and not working. I'm getting a poor connection here. Wait a minute, let me see if I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. Oh, I'm not connected right. My phone is not working. Amen. My phone is not working right. Amen. It's not working properly. Amen. No wonder. Amen. Because seeing like I'm going into the same direction. Amen. Seeing that because I'm leaning on the wrong way. I'm not allowing the Holy Spirit to lead me. I see now where I'm going. Oh, so there's a blank, like a light bulb went off. Amen. <laughs> a light bulb went off. Amen. Because I know what happened. I was leaning to my own way of doing things. I thought I was right. And that's why I kept on doing the same old, same old thing. I was wondering why I wasn't free in the area. I was wondering why I was holding grudges and still mad. Amen. I was wondering why I, uh, every time to say something or do something, ugh, when they speak to the person, they, uh, I get mad and anger. Amen. I was wondering why. I kept consuming the same thing over and over again. Amen. Rather speaking, I said, I thought I was going the right way. But what happened? I'm glad, yes. I was leaning to my own understanding. I was leaning into my own ideas. I was leaning into my own intervention way of doing things because I thought I was right. And actually, reality, I was not right. So now I see the light bulb came out. What it means? The Holy Spirit came and put a, a word of wisdom in my heart. And it triggered my mind. Oh, I see now. I see now. I'm not confused. What he gave me the word, say, low is, low is. Yes, that's the Holy Spirit. Low is, low is. Yes, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> what is it? Low is cast down all these imagination. What you say, Holy Spirit? Cast down all these imagination. Say it again, Holy Spirit. Cast down all the imagination. What imagination? You're thinking. You think too much, Lois. Your thought pattern is traveling in a different place. It's not traveling in the right place. You're losing connection. What you mean? You're losing track. What you mean? You're not running on the right track. Oh my gosh. You're losing connection spiritually. You're no longer connected to the heavenly Wi-Fi. 
to the heavenly satellite, you're connected to the world satellite. So therefore, you have opened the door for the enemy to come in. Oh, you know, say, Holy Spirit. Yes, I do say, Lois. I do say, Lois. That's why I'm here with you. To put you back on the right track. To put you on the right satellite. That's why the connection was poor. You see, the enemy come in to steal, kill, and destroy. He go round as a roaring lion. And actually like a, a, a little kid and cat. Meow. Meow. <laughs> so me, he, he's not really a roaring lion. He's trying to do get what Jesus does because he is the lion of Judah. So he goes around. I got you, Lois. I got you, Lois. This is the God talking. You lying wasn't a thief. You ain't God. Amen. And so therefore he tried to pull you in a place a pity, a lonely. And you said, lonely, I'm so lonely, lonely that nobody cares for me. Lonely because I've been through all this. And you start crying. Uh, uh, uh. Nobody don't care. And God say, Holy Spirit, get to that Lord before she lose her mind. <laughs> and you sit on the corner and you think God will hear you. And he, that's the thing, he does hear you. And, but somebody inside is stirring the Holy Spirit said, Lois, Lois, wait a minute, the, my phone is ringing. Me, my phone, connection to God by the Holy Spirit is ringing. Hello, who is this? This is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, yes. Lois, what happened? You almost lost contact. And, and, and the enemy came in and messed with the, the wires, that connection that you have to God in the spirit. The enemy come in to deceive you. The enemy come in to destroy you. The enemy came in to play games on your mind. Oh, that's what happened? Yes, Lois. He wanted your attention. He want you to be down and sad. He wants you to give up. He wants you to be mad with the world. He wants you to be mad with everybody. He wants you to walk no more in love and forget. Oh, that's what happened? Yes, Lois. But the Lord came. When you think God don't hear you, He does hear you. He heard you when you oh that nobody cares about it. And the whole and God said, Holy Spirit, get the connection back. You know, just like Comcast, when they lost the connection, the people can't see the connection of satellite. But the, the Holy Spirit get the angels there. And they work on your behalf to connect you back that you want to lose sight. That you want to lose insight what's going on. Oh, thank God for the Holy Spirit that gave the angels in charge of us. The Bible says in Hebrews 1.14, say, are they all men of the Spirit? Yes, they are men of the Spirit. They are assigned to you. What? You don't say <laughs> they assigned to me? Yes, Lois. Oh my goodness, I could have lost it all. Yes, you could. Not only you could have lost it all, you would have been one miserable woman a God, child of God. The enemy was setting a trap for you, so he went in there, cut the connection that you have a God. Try to cut the connection. But God heard your prayer this morning. He said, Lord, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. I'm the one going. I'm mad. I, I, and I'm mad with my husband. I'm laughing with his husband. I'm laughing with my children. I'm laughing with the past. I'm mad with everything. Help me. You say one word. You say, help me. And he heard you. That's all it takes, Lord? Yes, Lois. It doesn't take, oh, my God, Father God, and Father Abraham, the Father Jacob, the Father this here, and all this other, you go, 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 go. It does not take that long, Lord. Oh, my goodness sake. And I'm about to beat my head up, and I think I got to go into prayer for a long and an hour and a half, and it only takes one. Well, you remember Peter, Lois? Yes. Remember when Jesus bid him to come into the water? And long as he was looking at Jesus, he walked on the water. But the minute... He allowed the enemy to get his attention. Amen. He fell down. But what happened? He had to say, Jesus, help me. Just like you did. You say, help me, Jesus. And that's all. 
So I stop the plans of the enemy that tried to keep you down and defeated. I stop the plans of the enemy. Try to make you mad and angry. Try to keep you down. Try to have your bitterness. Try to have your anger. Try to have the unforgiveness. Say, don't, don't forgive them. They're going to do the same thing. He had you. Well, he wanted to get you. But just in time, you, I got your attention. And I say, thank you, Lord. I could have been going back the other way. I could have fallen into the trap of the enemy. But you came right on time. Oh, God, how much you love me. Yes, Lois. I've been telling you how much I love you all the time. But the whole conversation are you listening to? That's why I say cast down it. Bring it down to all your imagination. Oh, yes, yes. Give it to me. But you're trying to hold on it. Oh, that's what I was doing, Lord? Yes, Lois. Yes. And you know what, Lois? You ain't the only one been doing it. Uh, the other sisters and brothers been doing it too. You're kidding, God. I thought, I felt at that time, when I was in my little pity corner over there, I felt like alone that I'm the only one going to something and nobody goes to because I'm mad with this person. I'm mad with my mama. I'm mad with my daddy. I'm mad with my ex-husband. I'm mad with my children. I'm mad with my job. I'm mad with my business. I'm mad with the ministry. I'm mad with everything because it looks like everything ain't going away. I'm mad because I ain't got no money. I'm mad that I didn't get what's well. I'm mad to see this girl going forth, this man going forth, and they're all they're going forth. They're missing. What is I'm doing wrong? Lois, you're not doing anything wrong. You are being challenged of your faith. But the good news is, you waking up. You coming out. I am? Yes. Because the minute I call your name, you answer. What? What did I say in Jeremiah? What did you say, God? You said, call unto me. And you remember, the word call means, if you call me, I'm on the man. going to answer you. Wow, God. Yes. He said, call unto me, and I will answer you. And show you great and mighty things. Oh my goodness, God. Oh my word. Yes. And you did call on me. You didn't realize you called on me, Lord. You didn't realize it don't take a whole lot to call on me, but yet you call my name. Yet you call me and say, God, Jesus, help. I need help. I'm about to lose my mind. I'm, I've been challenged in every area. I'm mad with my mama for what she allowed my daddy to, to, to touch me. I'm mad with my daddy for what he did to me. I'm mad with my aunt. I'm mad with my uncle. I'm mad with my, my siblings. I'm mad with going in the ministry. I'm mad at my job. I'm, I'm just mad, period. And said, Lois, I know. But this help, I'm the help. I'm your helper. I'm your comforter. I'm the one that's going to help you to get through. You see, Lawrence? And I say, well, yes. Yes, Master. You see, the enemy was setting a trap for you because he didn't want you to forgive. He wants you to hold on to the grudges. He wants you to hold on to the bitterness. He wants you to hold on things. Amen. And so he tried to talk your mind. See, he, he don't have no connection to you. He don't have no divine help connection to you unless you open the door and let him in. He was knocking at the door. Mm -hmm. And he kept knocking. And he says, let me figure out the right time to knock for she can open up the door. See, all I need, the, the devil said, all I need is one little crack hole to get in and then I can get in. That's what he wants. If he see you still pondering over the same thing and you over there in that corner still say, he gonna do his best to drag you down. He's going to do his best to steal your joy. He's going to do his best to steal the love of God that you have for him. For God. He's going to do his best to steal your peace. He's going to do his best to steal the faith. He's going to do his best to steal everything that God has planned and given you. Come on somebody. Amen. He wants you to lose hope. But, but, but God, you know, I'm at the place, I'm mad with this person because they don't believe that I who I am. I'm mad with my ex. I'm mad with who I got now. And I'm mad with my job. And man, all oh, you just name it. Look like it. I look like this other person is prosperous. I sound like Hagar. Yes, yes. Not Hagar. Habakkuk. Hagar, he, he let everything be just, uh, messed up. But I don't want that to happen. 
I saw that back and I see the wicked is prospering. Amen. And, and, and here I am praying day and night. Here I am fasting and nothing happened. What's going on? Have you, have you forsaken me, God? No, Lois. I never forsake you. Even when, you, when I know you was wrong, I didn't forsake you. What, God? Yes, Lois. I did not forsake you. I'm there 24 7. If I never sleep or slumber, if I never sleep or slumber, what do that tell you? I'm always there. Even though it may not feel like it, but I'm there, Lois. Oh, my word. Oh, my God. You there? Yes. You see, Lois, the enemy wants you to think that I don't love you no more. The enemy wants you to think that uh, you can never change. You can never get rid of the bitterness. You can never get the anger out of you. You can never forgive. But to me, by the help of my spirit, the Holy Spirit, he will help you. Oh, he will? Yes. You see, Lois, he wants you to blaspheme him. He wants you to come against the word, it's Jesus Christ. He wants you to give up. He comes and says, Lois... Where's your God at now? Where's he at now? He know you're going through something, but where is he at now? He know that you're about to lose your house. Where is he now? He knows that you can't pay all these bills. Where is he now? He knows that the ministry needs some help. Where is he now? He's not there, Lois. Call on him right now. See how it's come. And he wants you to think that God forgot. And when I called on Jesus that morning, that was that morning, and 12 hours later, he answered me. And God says, the first time you asked me, the first time you prayed, I heard you. Amen. That's what he says. The first time I, you prayed, Lois, I heard you. But the enemy came in there trying to deceive you. Once again, Lois, what did he say, John 10, 10? The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy but Jesus came that you may have life and abundantly. Then why did this happen? Because I want you to start walking in faith. I want you to start taking hold of the word and run with it. Run the race with patience. Don't don't look at what it is. Amen. Don't be like the the the, the, the rabbit. He he know he was faster than the tortoise. Amen. But the tortoise will have more wisdom than the rabbit did. See, the rabbit knows he was fast. So he knew that he was going to win. He didn't care. He, he, he wasn't worried about it. Amen. And that's how some Christians do. They ain't like the rabbit. Jack rabbit. They move ahead. That leapfrog theory. Move ahead of the spirit. But see, the tortoise had wisdom. I, I'm not as fast as this rabbit, but I'm going to use wisdom. I'm going to take my time and allow the Holy Spirit to lead me. I'm going to take my time that whatever out there, trap out there, that I will not fall into. Holy Spirit, help me. I need help. You see, Lois? When you say Holy Spirit need help, he heard your prayer the first time. But see, the enemy came in and tried to snatch it away and try to deceive you. You see? He, he's the, he's the, uh, the father of lies. He ain't nobody father, but if you make him your father. You see, Lois? Oh, I see now, Master. Yes. Oh, I got it now. <laughs> he was trying to play a game on you. Yes, Lois. Just like he did with Adam and Eve. He tried to come as a subtop spirit, wise and cunning, to deceive you and make you think that you're losing out. Oh, I got it. It's just like history repeats itself. Yes, Lois. History repeats itself over and over again. <laughs> but you, uh, but see, because who lives in you, the greater one is in you than he is well, it's hard for him to really take control of you. Because you say every day, you get up. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Great is he that's in me that he is in the world. And you say that all the time. And what you say, you speak it in faith who lives in you. In regards, you get weak. You're speaking it all the time. You're speaking the word of faith and you don't realize it. And so the enemy tried to attack a faith and he can't attack a faith because he walk in fear. If you have fear there all and then take it the next day, then he said, oh, I got you. But he couldn't have you. Because you, you got up and you prayed. You got up and said, call on Jesus. And you say, help me. And I heard you the first time. Oh, that's what's it. Yes. Because you said you didn't want to walk in unforgiveness. You said you didn't want to walk in, in bitterness. 
You say you didn't want to walk in anger. You you spoke out in faith. You forgot what you I said, oh God, yes, God, I forgot it. Oh my word. Oh my God. I say that, Lord. I say that, God. Yes, Lois. Lois, this is the problem with a lot of your sister and brothers missing. Because they think that I didn't hear them the first time. So the devil played trick on their mind and make them think that God has forgot about them. But I was there all the time. You was? Yes. Once again, I did not tell you I never leave you and forsake you. Did not tell you my word. Amen. My ways in Isaiah 55 verse 8. My ways are not your ways. I don't think like you. Amen. I give seed to the seer. Amen. Who wants to who wants something, a seed. Amen. To continue to grow. I give seed to the, you know, and to the, I give all that. Then I say that my, once you understand that is my way, then the word, that when I speak, it will not come back void. It will accomplish what I say. Oh, okay. And once I say that, cast down all your imagination, still thinking, your mindset, and you say this, you forgot what you said. You 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 quote Romans twelve one. I did. Yes, you did, Lois. You say, Father. I'm going to quote Romans twelve one. And you say, Paul say, I beseech you, my brother. It means I plead to you, God, that I present myself to you daily, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to your reasonable service. Means that uh, reasonable service means that I'm going to worship you in spirit and truth. Oh, I say that? Yes, Lois. And I don't want to be conformed to the old ways. I don't want to go backwards. I want to, even though I have not forgot the past, but I want to let go of the past and not hold on to the past that going to cause and detect, dictate my life and go in the wrong direction. So I'm going to be not conformed to this world, but I'm going to be transformed to the renewal of my mind. Amen. That I know what's good, that I know what's the perfect will. Of my father so when you say that you got immediate attack i did yes you start going hey we're thinking all different direction so i heard you i said oh thank you jesus thank you for your grace god because i would have lost it all yes lois but when you spoke in faith the first time i heard your prayer you see lois people miss it because they think that i don't hear them i hear them all the time my ears are open to them 24-7. Now, you're not open 24-7. Man not open 24-7. Woman not open 24-7. But I am open 24-7 to hear what my children has to say. With open arms. Be like the, the prodigal son. You remember the prodigal son, Lord? Yes, I remember that. He left and took everything. And, and, and everything took everything. As long as he had everything, he had a whole lot of friends. Then when everything got dry, they disappear on him. Yeah, he, he almost got angry, mad with them, and almost lost it all. But he thought about his father. He said, I, 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 I need to go back to my father. I don't know whether my father going to accept me and forgive me. I hope he forgive me. I hope my father forgive me. I hope my father forgive me. I hope my father forgive me. And I went back, and, I was, and that was me saying that I have forgiven you. Oh my gosh. Yes. Even though you left a period of time, I still reach my hands out and welcome you back. Oh God, thank you because your love. I tell you, if it wasn't for your love, I would have been lost my mind a long time ago. Yes, you would, Lois. But certain things you said you forgot. And so the enemy comes in and tries to bring a confusion and bring an illusion and want you to give up. And want you to lose hope. But you didn't. You realize that you had to get rid of all that garbage. All the hoardings. You know like a house you see on TV? Yes, God. It's junky and junky. You know why people are all junky and sometimes they're junky? Because they got so much baggage to let go. And sometimes they got it because they're tired and they need help. But most of the time they, they got so much going and they're not really satisfied. So they keep carrying stuff and let that and that fulfill they they feel it fulfilled. But it doesn't it makes things worse. 
And that makes them not, when they challenge, they're not winning. And that's what the enemy wants. He wants to bring in more, more garbage and, and that it'd be so, it'd be so full that you can't even see, you can't even think, you can't even hear, you can't even talk. That's what you want God? Yes, Lois. Now you understand. So when you understand in Matthew 18, uh, uh, verse 21, chapter, understand that, say, uh, forgive them 70 times 7. It may sound tired. But, you know, you make it tired, you say, listen, I'm tired of saying forgive them, forgive them. I'm going to forgive them. I had enough to keep repeating over and over again. I'm going to forgive them and let go. I ain't going to hear from nobody. I'm going to love them. I need you to help me, Holy Spirit, to love them. They did me so bad and did me so wrong. And I just want to give them a peace of mind. Lois, that's what happened to a lot of people. They had give the people who hurt them and betrayed them a peace of mind. They ain't got no right mind no more. In other words, they, 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 that's what the enemy wants them to do. He wants them to lose their mind and lose track who they are. I said, oh, God. Yes, Lois, that's what he's trying to do. Oh, my God. Oh, my word. But I got you just in time. Because he, he, he wanted you to lose your mind. When you lose your mind, then you don't want to read the word no more. You don't want to pray no more. You don't want to come to church no more. Similar with your brothers and sisters, like going to school to learn. You don't want to even think no more. You don't even want to walk in the spirit. That's what he was trying to do. Pull you away. And that's what happened to a lot of my children. They allowed the enemy to pull them away because he said, you know, he started talking to them like, he, see, history repeats itself. Like he did with Eve. Like he did with Eve. And Adam was right there with that far. And he didn't protect her. He said, what if she eat this but she die? But I didn't let it go that far. It could have went that far. But, but I didn't. I stopped it. Because you're under a new covenant, a new plan. you under grace, Lois. you under mercy. So I show you grace and mercy, even though the enemy said that you, there is no grace and mercy, but I show you grace and mercy anyhow. Because the devil was setting a trap, like he do for everybody else, to fall in, to give up. You may be that way right now, at that point, say, you know, I'm at the point, I want to give up. I've been hurt, I've been damaged, I've been hurt. So broken hearted. Amen. I've been, things been taken away from me. I've been misused. I've been held accountable for something I didn't do. My family don't love me. The husband that I married, he's crazy. I thought they love me. He don't want to do anything. He don't even want to take care of the children. Uh, you baby man, my uh, uh, my wife. I thought she gonna be the wife that I was gonna want it. The dream, and it wasn't that. The children that I thought that I was going to have, they're not the children. But then I realized, you love me just who I am. And you was giving me the opportunity. You was letting me see that it's hope for me not to give up. You was letting me see that how much you love me. You never stop loving me. But you stop loving yourself, Lois. You're sure that they will stop loving themselves. They will stop because they were so hurt and deep hurt and pain and miserable. So what did they do? When you get like that, you open the door for sickness, disease, and infirmity. You open the door for cancer to come in. You open your sugar diabetes to get even more. You open your uh, hypertension. You open up the blood pressure to go up. You're not allowing the enemy to come in. You allow, I mean, you're not allowing the, uh, God to come. You're letting the enemy come in. The hell with the devil. I bind them in Jesus' name. Amen. See, he's trying to come in. But he can't come in. You see? It, it, God allowed him to let you know how quick he would try to come and twist your mouth. And, but then if you allow the spirit to take over, you immediately will recognize it and rebuke him. I want you to know that the Holy Spirit is there to help you to forgive. Nobody is worse going to hell for Jesus ain't going to let you go to hell. No, he, you think he did all that 30, 39 lashes. And let me tell you about those 39 lashes. I did a study on that. Amen. Uh, 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 and, uh, uh, we saw Passion for Christ. Passion for Christ with uh, uh, that man that um, made uh, Passion for Christ. 
Ain't hey, nothing close to that. No, he was. It was worse than that. When when they hit him, the Roman soldier hit him with those that leather lash. He, his his body turned to a way he was not even good to look upon. No, he was not even look good to look upon. Amen. And, and he did all that, that whatever you go through, that you able to get through because what Yeshua did for you. Jesus, he loves you. Then why are you carrying all that baggage when you need to release it? Why are you carrying all that weight? Some of you got so much weight, you, 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 you're trying to exercise it, not in the flesh, but exercise in the spirit. And the more you exercise it, it ain't going nowhere. You know why? Because you're carrying the same old stuff in your heart. Amen. Well, I tried some collagen and to build my bones up, and I tried some other stuff, pre and pro and I tried all that. It ain't working. Did you try the pre and the pro and the collagen, the Word of God? Did you quote the Word every day over it? No. Did you eat on it? Did you drink the, uh, uh, the living water? No. That's why. He says in Joshua 1 8, what did he say, Lois? Tell them what he says. Tell them what I say. Tell them, Lois, for they can get this in this. And when you talk about the law, we talk about the word of God. Joshua 1 8, what did he say, Lois? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I'm hungry. I want to know. You want to know? Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Hold on. 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 I'm getting it. I'm getting it. What does it say, Joshua 8? Oh, I see what it says. No, let's go to. Uh, 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 uh. He knew that Joshua had to take on what Moses left off. What is he saying? Verse 6. Verse 5. He said, No man will be able to stand before you. Whatever your name, put your name in there. To oppose you. As long as you live, just as I was present with Moses, so will I be with you. Oh, you got to be kidding. Yes. I will not fail you or abandon you. That's not only God talking, but Jesus and the Holy Spirit all talking at one time to you. What did he say again? Verse 6. Be strong. What? And confidence and courageous. Courageous? Joshua. Said courageous, Lord said courageous God, yes, for you will get these people as an inheritance of the land which I swore to their fathers, ancestors to give them. Oh wow, the same relates now in Joshua relates now in the New Testament. Jesus gonna give you. Restored to you and Joel, the second chapter where the cackle on the long run and a, a, and the a problem were all stuff for you. Restoration is coming. That's why people say restore. Yes, Lois. The devil tried to trick the trickster. It's on the moon. What does it say, John? Didn't it? He comes to steal. Yes. He looks to steal and kill and destroy the things that I have. He wants to destroy your thinking, your mindset. That's what is important. What you got to do? What do I do? He said, only be strong and very courageous. Verse 7. Be careful to do everything in accordance with the entire law with Moses. My son, the law turned into to Jesus' law. Love. Amen. My servant commanded you to do not turn from the right or to the left so that you may prosper and be successful wherever you go. You're kidding. Yes. And what else he said? Verse 8, Lois. The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. What's the book of law? We're talking about the word of God. The Bible. Oh, okay. But you shall read and meditate on it. Oh my gosh. I got to read and meditate? Yes. On it. Day and night. It's just like, the, the oh, I see what you're talking about, uh, 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 Holy Spirit. It's just like the, the stars, when they study the word, uh, when they got a script and they take on that character, that they, they study that until they become that character. So when we study that word, we take on the character of Christ. Yes, Lois. Mm -hmm. That's what you take. Oh, I'm getting it now. I'm getting it now. I'm getting it, Holy Spirit. Yes, keep on reading, Lois. Okay. But you shall read and meditate on it day and night. Oh. 
I got to read day and night? Yes. Why? It got to get into your spirit, into your heart, until it's so embedded in your heart that you can help us speak it out when you attack. You can help us. It would, it would guide you. It would direct you. It would lead you. It would protect you. It would shield you. It's your ammunition. It's your freedom to help you to stay free. Oh, it will help you in all ways. Oh, Holy Spirit, I'm getting it now. I get it, okay? Keep on reading, Holy Spirit. Help me read. So that you may be careful to do everything in accordance with all that is written. Oh, that means I got to do everything written in the Word? Yes. You not only got to do it, you got to believe it and receive it. What good to, to do something if you don't re believe it and receive what you're doing? Because faith that I work is dead. It is? Yes. Faith come by hearing, 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 hearing. When the last time you clean your ear out, Lois? Well, I try to clean it out every day. Where the, what happened when you get in that word? The word would clean your ear out. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting it now. Just in case I forgot to clear it with the right. Yes. It would go in there, give it all that old wax, all that stuff the enemy try to put in there. That challenge you to keep you to hear what the word is saying. Okay, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lois. You got it? Yes, yes. Keep on. Be careful to do everything according with all that's written in it. For then, oh my gosh. For then you will make your way. Then will make your way prosper. Be success. And then you will be successful. Oh my gosh. But wait a minute. There's one more. Let's end it off. For you won't have no fear. What is it? Read this. Look at said. Okay, Holy Spirit. Have I not commanded you? What you command me, uh, Holy Spirit? I want to make sure I get the command. Make sure I do it right. Because I'm, I'm telling him, uh, 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 keep on going in circles over again. I got to let go. I got to forgive. I got to walk in love. I got to do what's worth it. Well, look what it says. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified or dismayed. Intimidated. You know what? I like that, Holy Spirit. That one word, intimidate. What you like? Because that's what caused people to hold grudges and forgiveness because they get intimidated by hearing the truth. Yes, Lois. People can't stand me. Because actually, when you intimidate one another, you're putting each other down. You're really judging them. You're really saying that they're not going to become what God wants them to become. They're not going to change. So you put them in a place of insecurity. You put them back in day one of holding grudges and not forgiving. Oh my gosh. Yes, Lois. Says, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Oh gosh, this sound better. See, when you feel you're alone, you're not really alone. Isn't that something? Huh? You're not by yourself. Isn't that something? Oh, I got it. Oh, now I'm getting it now. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for showing me this. Yes. You're actually free. Who the sun set free is free indeed. Oh, the more I read the word, the more I grasp hold the word, the more I grasp hold the truth, the more I let the truth change me, the more I let the truth grasp hold the truth. Amen. There's no change because Jesus is the same today as yesterday. Means he's hears us in a heartbeat. He hears our prayer. Yes. He hears you when you get up in the morning. Yes. He hears you when you go to sleep at night. Yes. You see, Lois, and tell the rest of them, okay? I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them, Holy Spirit. Yeah, I'm going to tell them. Tell them this. The enemy in John 10.10 10, comes to steal, comes to kill, comes to destroy. But I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So I've been missing out. Yes, you have. Tell them that. They've been holding stuff in them which they need to let go. So when I told Peter to forgive his brother and sister seven times seven, that means that he's going to get tired of saying it. After a while, he's going to say, this is enough. I got to forgive my brother. I got to forgive my sister. I got to forgive my, uh, not only them, I got to forgive my mama. I got to forgive my daddy. I got to forgive my brother. I got to forgive my sister. I got to give my siblings and my children, my ex-husband, my husband right now, uh, my, uh, uh, my ex-wife, my wife now, and, and my job, or my job, my business, my ministry, whatever I've been through it. I got to forget. Yes. So actually, when I forgive, 
I'm letting go. Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh. Let me tell you another, another uh, go nugget. Tell me, tell me, Holy Spirit. Go to Philippians, the third chapter. Okay, okay, I'm going to get there. Okay. Philippians, the third. Yes, go there. I'm going to show you another revelation. Oh my God, this is getting good. Yes, it is. The word is good, Lois. The more the word gets inside of you, and the more you speak that word, it's going to be hard for the devil to challenge you. And when he try to challenge you, he's going to get away from you. Because he know he ain't winning. Oh, that's it? Yes. Because what you doing? You're speaking the word. And you're keeping your heart. And then you're keeping your heart right. Okay. What, what else? What else? What else? What else? Go ahead on. I got it. I'm coming. I'm coming. Go ahead on. You're getting close to it. What else? What does it say in Philippians, the third chapter, verse 12? Oh, okay. Paul said this. See, the problem is forgetting. 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 This is the problem why people can't let go. This is why people hold grudges and bitterness and they can't forget. Because they, they, they don't know how to forget the past. They allow the past to take. Oh, that's what it is? Yes, it is. Okay, Holy Spirit. What to go to? Verse 12, Philippians the third, it says this, Amplify. Now that I have already attained in this, the goal of being Christ-like, I have already been made perfect. Oh, okay. I see what you're talking about. Some people think they're perfect. Yes, Lois. They think they got it going, and they don't know I'm still working on them. Oh, because if I don't, if they stop and think they got it going, they will lose hope. And they will go backwards and live in the past, hold grudges, hold unforgiveness, hold all that bitterness, anger in them, and will end up in a place that they shouldn't be in hell. I did not create hell for them. I created hell for the devil and those falling angels who became principalities and those that fall in Satan. Oh, you did? Yes. I want people to understand. Some people think they arrived, but ever have not arrived yet? Everybody, read the carriage in the Bible. Nobody has arrived. The only one arrived is Christ. Amen. He's the Lamb of God. He was with our sin. You see, we had sin. Born sin, had sin. But he didn't have no sin. Yes. Oh, okay. So what they got to do? They got to realize that they're not all this. He said, but Lois, a lot of people think they got it going. Because they, they're child of God, and they got it all going, they're perfect, they all this, and nobody has arrived yet. He's still working on them. Oh. You see, the, the reason why the, 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 the chapter, the book, which is that life cannot be closed until they live, until they leave here, is that they're not allowing the, old, the other chapter in their life to be closed, and that they finish successful. Oh, that's what it is? Yes. Because they're holding on stuff they need to let go. Oh. Well, read this, Lord. Okay. Okay. I'm going to read it. Paul says, not that I have already attained this goal of being Christ-like. I have already been made perfect. I already have been made perfect. I already have been made perfect. I already have been made perfect. That's it right now. Oh, I can want you to get like that, Lois. Oh, I can almost hear that way. Yes, Lois. You ain't on but on them. A lot of them think they're perfect. If they was perfect, they would be the Lamb of God. And he wouldn't have to go and be slain for our sin. But it had to be a perfect vessel who has no sin. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. That's why people cannot get rid of, of, the, of the hurt and the pain and the uh, 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 forgiveness. Yes, Lois. Because they think they're perfect. Oh, my word. <gasps> oh, they never made no mistake. That's how they think. They never fall short. No, that's how they think. They think that by getting back at somebody, hurting them, hurt people, hurt people. And that they're going to solve the problem. It's going to make them feel good because they was hurt. They should be hurt. Why should they get, why should they not be hurt? That's how they think. Oh, but I want you to spread this and tell them they are not perfect. Even Adam wasn't perfect. If he was perfect, he would not sin. Oh, okay. But they say he, he sub salvation when God, yes, he did. But God, God challenged him. See, 
he did forgot that God is one omnipresent. Oh, okay, Holy Spirit. Like some people forget that I'm always present. Oh, okay, Holy Spirit. He forgot that. He forgot that when God saw him, when he, uh, him and Eve messed up. Oh, my God. Yes. He's the one omnipresent. Okay. He is the one going to know what you're going to do, what you're not going to do, but hope you don't do it. Okay. He saw Adam and Eve sin, but yet he wanted to see how they was going to answer back. Oh, you see, he asked questions. I noticed that he asked a Samaritan woman. He says, uh, 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 where's your husband? Jesus asked, yeah, and she says, I don't have no husband. And what did she say, Lois? She said, you, he, what did he say? What did Jesus say? He told her, and she answered well. Oh, you know what? She told the truth. Yes. He said, if they would have told the truth, like uh, 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 Eve did, because grace was there in the beginning, because I'm grace. Okay. You remember I said that my spirit not lie with man's own? means that I can't, I can't be with people that are going to continue to lie and not going to uh, serve me and not going to give me the credit. They want the credit because they think they're perfect. Oh, okay, I got you, God. I got you. I got you. Yes. So she answered well. And Jesus said, you answered well because you got five, you had five husbands. And the one you got right now is your husband. Oh, my goodness. Yes. You see, what? The, how did Adam and Eve answer, Lois? Well, Eve says, the devil made her do it. <laughs> like Phil Wilson. Oh, that what she said? Yes. And what did, and what did, that what she said, oh God. And what did, what did Adam say? Well, oh God, don't let me go there, God, what he said, because I was mad when he said that. You did? Yes. He said, you got the death. He had the death and said, God, the woman you gave me made me do it. And, and, and she didn't force him. Adam was right there a few, few feet away. So what did I tell you? He loved her and then he didn't love her. Because suppose I would allow her to die. Oh my gosh, you're right, God. So there was something in Adam wasn't right. Oh yes, God. Oh my gosh. So Adam, even though I breathed light on him and he was the first to see me, that don't mean he was right. No. But I wanted to test and see could they pass the test. The same thing I'm doing right now. Why people are failing because they don't believe that I can change things in their life and make it better. Even if they fall, all they do is have to call on me. And I will restore it back to them because of my grace. Yes, you will, God. But they didn't do it. And so I kick them out. Because I know it wasn't going to change. I could have got rid of them, the whole Adam and Eve, and, and create another one. But I, because of my grace and my love for them, I kick them out of them. I even clothed them. I had, to, I had to refashion them, put the right manner on them. Because they tried to do themselves. And, oh, oh, I understand. In other words, people try to cover up their wrongdoing for things that I don't see it. So I have to, so you got to come in and put the right covering on them, the mantle. Yes. Oh, okay. You got to put the right fashion on. Yes, you was the first fashion designer God. Yes, I was. Oh, my gosh. They don't allow me to design them. They don't allow me to get and help them. See, that's the problem. Everybody is trying to do it themselves. And they wonder why they're going in circles. Oh, I see God. I understand. Yes, yes, yes. Now you see? You see why like some people's heart don't change? Yes. Oh. So I had to teach Adam and eat a lesson. Oh, I see why you allow her pain with the baby and him where they got to work and all this. Yes. But yet I still love them showing grace for their wrongdoing. Their heart was not in it. So therefore, I, I had to do what I did. Oh, okay, Lord, I see what you're talking about. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yes. I see. That's why you understand. This is the problem right here. People think they're perfect. Yes, just because they, just because they are a child of God and they are belongs to me. If I made them perfect, then I, they wouldn't need me. You're right, God. I made it for they could always depend on me. You're right, God. And if they happen to get out of line because of my grace and love, I will put them back in alignment. It's just like a car, Lois. When you drive that car, the wheels, I got to be the I got to be the head driver of that car. 
I mean, I got to control your that 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 seat. I got to control that car. I mean, you, they got to allow me to control their life. And a lot of times, they don't let me control it because they think what's best. And that's why they keep going in the same circle. That's why they can't get healed from uh, uh, from the past of the hurt and pain because they don't allow me to drive and take over and control. Oh, I see God. They don't allow my spirit to do it. That's why. And then they have the audacity to drive, take the, the steps. They the, the will represent their the steps, their foot. They're not allowing me to order their steps. Oh, okay, Lord. They so busy because they feel that I, I'm not moving fast enough for them. That's the problem. Oh, okay, God. I've been there and I won't go back there. Yes, you did, Lois. And so therefore, while a lot of them can't be delivered and heal inside and hold those grudges and unforgiveness because they're still trying to do it themselves. <gasps> oh. So I already got the map on their car, on their life. I already got the navigator. Which is the Holy Spirit, if they allow them to navigate and direct their life, he would take them in the right place. But they'd say, what if, they, get, they got this what if in there. And that's why they end up doing the same thing. And that's what they can do. Oh, I see God. Yes. So when they, so the will get out of balance and then they get out of alignment because they don't allow me to align they walk. They don't allow me to balance they walk. Every step should be ordered by me. Oh, I see God. Yes. Because they think they perfect. Because they in me. Nobody perfect but my my son. Jesus. You're right, God. But if they allow me to perfect those things, if my son is the author and the finish, the one who perfect the faith, the one who finish the faith, that they make sure they walk the faith, amen, then they'll, they'll come out on top each time. Oh, so we can? Yes, if they let me do it. But they don't allow me. Oh, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Oh, yes. Then I can share it. You're getting it, what I'm talking about. The spirit of perfection is on them. They think it's okay. You're right. Because I know some people, they think they're so perfect. They never mess up. They never did no wrong. They're so perfect, you can't even talk to them. <laughs> You're right. So many people are walk in perfection. And that's why they're not winning victory over the error in their life. And they wonder why they don't get the fullness that I have for them. If I say in Jeremiah 29, 11, the plans that I have for them to have a good life and to prosper. Amen. Whatever I say in my word, it will be done. You're right, God. What did I say in Isaiah? He said, your word will go forth and it will not come back void. It will accomplish what you say. But see, people got to mess up, God. You're right, God. They wanted to accomplish what they say. You're right. Oh, I see God. They're not allowing the Holy Spirit to pray for them. In Romans 8, 26, said the Holy Spirit knows our weakness and affirmative. So he, he, he makes it others and greatness that we don't know because he knows what to pray for. Oh, I see. That's why they at the point. You see, a lot of time, Lord, when they want to pray, it's not always what I want them to pray. Because always what they need for it to be done is not always what I want them to be done. See, Lois, there's a lot of people that need to be healed. And they're still hurt. They're still mad. They're carrying so much garbage. They're so constipated, they need a colon cleanser. Not no lights, because lights don't get in the inside. The colon cleanser is the word of God. <gasps> oh. So when they enter that word and begin to allow it to, to uh, saturate all of them and, and, and just get all in them, then what the word does begin to get rid of it, all that in it. Oh, I see God because it goes into the deepest bone marrow and it is stirring. Oh, what is good and bad and take it out. Yes, Lois. If they read like I told you in Joshua eight, and do it daily, their whole life will be different. But see, they're trying to perfect themselves. And so they end in going in the same circles and they're not delivering at all. They may accomplish some things, but they're not accomplish the fullness that I have for them. Oh, yes. So it's a wake-up call. I want them to allow me to come and cleanse where things are stuck inside of them where they can't see. But what I can see. So the colon is the word of God. 
when they allow the Holy Spirit to bring the Word of God and they read the Word and meditate, that Word goes all the way in where they think they got is going in their life and it's still there. Oh! Then they'll be able to walk in the newness. They'll be able to walk and see better. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, I got that. I ain't going to try to be perfect. I'll let you perfect me, Lord. Okay, Lois. Now, read on. But I actually press on. Look what, what he does. So that I may take hold, so that I may take hold on that perfection from which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Now I take perfection to Christ, the author and the finish of your faith, the perfecter of your faith, the one who completed the right way. Oh, I got it now. Yes, yes. And make me his own. We try to accomplish and perfect us to be like him. But we still want to put ourselves in it. Yes, that's the problem. That's why it's hard for them to feel. That's why it's hard for them to let go. Okay, God, I see now, Holy Spirit. So what is he says? Brothers and sisters, verse 13. I do not consider that I have made it my own yet. Paul understood that. Oh, I see, God. Some people think they have made it their own. Yes! When they're walking perfected and they're still carrying all that garbage of unforgiveness. When they're still carrying that all weight them down of anger and bitterness. They're carrying all that still, but they say it's gone, but it's still there. Then allow, allow the Holy Spirit to get in the deep inside where nobody can see, but he can see. To get rid of it, to be able to fulfill and accomplish what you already predestined. And then, yes, I see now. Yes, that's what it is. <gasps> oh, I get it now. Yes. But one thing I do, oh, I see you got a colon there. Yes. I see that colon, God. Lois, the reason why people miss the word, they read it too fast. They don't take time and study to show yourself approved or work and rightly to divide the word of truth. So they miss the truth and they, they take the, the word of God out of context. That's why so many people teaching it. But they're teaching it the way they think it is. What is a teacher? What is it? A teacher is one, that little tiny finger, that walk in revelation, that walk in miracles. Amen. And the wisdom and knowledge together to bring understanding. So what you do? You do like Jesus did. He brought parables and stories that even a child would understand it. So when he opened up the word, it's, oh my God. That's what it means. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he said, for which Christ, Jesus took hold of me and made me his own. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider that I have made it my own yet. But one thing I do, but one thing I do, that's double calling. The Bible made of congestion sinners. And people ignore those sinners. You notice that every verse, people takes a partial of that verse, relate to what the problem that they're going to. Yes, they do. So the punctuation mark is important. So when you see a double colon, which is like a double period, what it means, Lord, stop and think about what I say before you proceed on. <gasps> okay. I'm going to stop and think. And see? You're not thinking the way you think, but you stop and think the way I want you to think. You you begin to repeat that, oh, but one thing I do, 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 what did I do? Forgetting, that's the key, uh, letting go, forgiving. Forgetting, <gasps> what? Forgetting, that's why I want them to think about it, because a lot of people don't forget. They hold on to grudges. They hold on to things they need to let go. That's why they're miserable. That's why they try to hurt one another. They say, why should he have? And look what they did to me. And look what happened to me. I didn't have a good. Why should they have? What they do? <laughs> they murmur and complain like the children of Israel. That's what only a portion, a portion of them. Made it to the promised land. Guess what, Lord? What God? The same thing they did 
like the children of Israel, don't you know history repeats itself? I find out, Lord, when I'm reading the word, I see that history repeats itself. Show sure enough. You show sure enough. They kept murmuring, forgetting what caused you to murmur. Forgetting, if you don't forget, amen, if you don't forget, it will cause you to complain. But Paul had to forget. He said, forgetting what lies behind, forgetting what lies behind, forgetting what lies behind, forgetting what lies behind. Now, there's a connection there. They miss it. See, the and and but is a, it's, it's, it's a very important word. It may be a simple word. That's why people misunderstand the word of God because they take the word of God context. They say and it's not important. They say but it's not important. When you see the word but there, it means it's conditioned. It only be unconditioned if you believe what he's saying. So when you see and there, it's a connection. It's the same as the first part of that sentence. It's added on. It's a continue on. Yes. Oh, I see. I see. I see. And reaching forward to what lies ahead. <gasps> see, they, they, they don't forget what lies behind. That's why they can't, they can't uh, win. That's why they can't be successful. They may be successful in different ways, but they're not walking in the fullness of successful. They're not walking in the fullness of the blessings. They're not walking in the fullness of the overflow. What do you think I went to the cross for? What do you think Jesus went to the cross for? You're right. For we can walk in the fullness. Yes. Oh, my word. And we're not. No. A lot of people ain't. A lot of people think they are. Just because they got a mansion and all that and a lot of money and got 10,000 members or 30,000 members, they don't walk into the fullness until every day. It's a daily walk, Lord. Of forgetting every day, forgetting daily. Oh, oh, that's what it is. Yes, uh, they will not succeed to fulfill what they headed to their final destination. Yes, on the way, they got to forget every day because every day there's a new problem, every day there's a new something happen. It could be good or bad. Yes. Every day, oh, I see, they are challenged. We are challenged every day. Yes, you are. And there are some days are good. And there are some days are bad. There are some days, uh, one, like a whole week could be blessing. And then the next day, all of a sudden, everything starts going down the drain. And it claws up the sink. Amen. What it does? What do you mean? It claws up the things in their life. So they got to get the plumber. And you know, plumbers are expensive. But we don't. We, when we get that word, the Holy Ghost take that word and plumb and get all that 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 all that that sewage that's in us, Amen. Because we get clogged up. In other words, we get confused. Yes. So it holds on. That's what the enemy tried to do. Oh, I see. He tried to deceive you. He tried to discourage you. He tried to confuse you. Yes. Oh, I see. He tried to take things out of order. Yes. Mm-hmm. So when, they, when they're forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to what lies ahead, what happened? Paul say, I press on toward the goal to which the heavenly price, not the earthly price, not man price, not my price, but the heavenly price, yes, of the upper call of God in Christ Jesus. I look up. I'm, I'm ready to reach my heavenly call. I'm ready to reach that what I'm called to be. I'm ready to fulfill it. I'm ready to go forth. So when I get to my final destiny, amen, of God in Christ Jesus, there is my reward. Yes. Oh, my gosh. When we go to verse 15, Lord, what it says, all of us who are mature pursuing spiritual perfection should have this attitude. Ooh. Did it say earthly perfection? No. It said spiritual perfection. When we don't let go and don't forgive, but forget. When he said forgetting means that you have a peace, it doesn't bother you. But if it keeps bothering you, you have not forget. You'll never reach there. 
So he says that all of us who are mature, pursuing spiritual perfection, should have this attitude. And if any respect you have a different attitude, that too God will make it clear of you. <laughs> He's going to let you know. The only way you're going to get spirit perfection if you just look lies ahead and look to me. And look to Jesus who's the author and finisher of your faith. And realize that in Philippians 4.13 that you could do it because you could do all things to Christ for strengthen you. The word strengthen means empower you to go on where you don't. So forgiveness is a decision of the will. <gasps> oh. He was showing you that. It gives us a free will. Yes. And it's up to us. You no know, either or, or in between. No. Not even the promise is... Uh, maybe so. Either is amen and yes. No, no, and then yes, we're gonna do something. Amen. So he commands us to forgive. We must make a conscious choice to obey God and forgive. That we say yes. So when we obey God, we we walking in love. Not only we walk in love, we walk in the faith, because we trust in God without seeing it. Yes. Because faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, the offender that, uh, 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 that you offend may not have the desire to forgiveness and may not even change. But that doesn't negate God desiring that we possess a forgiven spirit. Matthew 5, verse 44. Ideally, the offender would seek reconciliation. But if not, the one wrong can still make a decision to forgive. What decision you mean? Forgive and forget. Say this, I choose to forgive the offender for the sake of... I choose to forgive the offender. Say that again. I choose to forgive the offender. I choose to forgive the offender. Let everybody come up. Everybody come up. All y'all need to say it. This has been awesome. Can I give it a close out? Amen. Give it a pray for everybody. Bring, bring them up. Everybody needs to say this because I don't want you to miss your blessing no more. I don't want you to lose nothing no more. The Holy Spirit wants you to get with everything God. Okay? Because I don't know about you, enough is enough for the devil stealing from you. Amen. Everybody need to go up. Okay. Did I get everybody up? Now, Stephen, you need to go up. Tarana, you definitely need to go up. Okay. All right, get them up. That's it. Amen. Now I want everybody to repeat after me. Because the, the, everything's held up. Because you may get half of it, but we're not walking in the fullness. Amen? I want everybody to repeat after me. Those downstairs, you want to come up, come up. Because it's time for you to walk into the, into the blessing of favor of God. Amen? Because a lot of things will hold up. Because that goes me too. I say it every day. Hello? There's no exception. Amen? If you want to come up, please hold your hand up and they'll bring you up. Okay, Bounty. Anybody else want to come up? Bring Stephanie up. Boy, this has been good. Hasn't yeah, this been good, y'all? Amen. Amen. I thought I was I, I thought I was on, 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 on I thought I was uh, on in the theater. Yeah. <laughs> that was God. God did it different. Amen. Anybody else want to come up? I want you to repeat after me because it's time for you to have what God wants you to have. Amen. I like how God put it. He put it that you can understand it. Amen. All right, anybody come, else come up? Please come up. I don't want you to miss your blessing. Amen. Avery, you want to come up? Marina, you want to come up? Let them know if you can come up. Amen. Okay, that's it. All right. I want you to say this. I choose to forgive. Everybody open your mic. Everybody repeat after me. I choose to forgive. Open your mic, everybody. Everybody open your mic. Everybody welcome. Open your mouth, Bradley. Open your mouth, Avery, because I want y'all to, don't miss this. I want everybody to get what you're supposed to have. Open your mic, Pierre and Prophetess. Open up. Come on. Let's be on one accord. That's what I'm talking about. You got to get on one accord. You miss out. All right. 
Pierre, put your on uh, the, off the mic. Stay off the mic. All right, get off the mic. Because I want you to repeat after me. All right, let's say this. Some of you may be at work. You may can't do it, but you're up here anyway. Say, I choose to forgive the offender for the sake of Christ and move on with my life. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. You got the, de the devil on the run. If you mean what you say, you're going to get a release that things will help up. Sometimes we don't realize that we think we have let it go, but in our heart we still got something there. The church say amen. Hallelujah. And so God wants you to let go. Amen. And let it go. Amen. Because the devil is going to try his best to hold you down, that you'll never be successful and prosper. The church, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. See, you have to make that choice. You got to get the police. That's why he told he told uh, uh, Peter, says, um, how many times should I forgive my brother? How many times should I forgive my sister? It, it, you know, he's not talking about only his believers. As I got into it, he said they may not be a believer, but they also go for any family members or anybody that came against you. Hello. Offend you physically, mentally, or spiritually. Amen. It holds up your blessings. It holds you up. And then it will cause you to miss heaven. And that is not God's will. The church, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. He specifically put it in the Lord's Prayer in Matthew the 6. He said, I Father, which down here with me, lift him up, the, the one of all. Amen. That came to come, that would be done. And then he said, I forgive you. Uh, help me to forgive my trust, uh, my debt. Amen. Forgive them. Do you not know when you don't forgive, you in debt. You in debt uh, mentally. You in debt spiritually, and you're in debt what? Mentally. I mean, physically, mentally, and spiritually. You understand that, everybody? Amen. So you in debt with yourself. You in debt. Uh, uh, mentally, you in debt spiritually with God, and that is not what God wants. Amen. So that is part of blaspheming the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Spirit tells you to forgive, and you say, I don't want to give, you don't know how much hurt. But if you read the book of Isaiah, 53rd chapter, and did what Jesus did, you will forgive. Amen. Because nobody went through what he went through. Amen. He was not even looked upon. Then when they got to whipping him, Every 39 last year represent all that we're going through. Hello, somebody. Are you there? Amen. And amen. nobody is going to pay the price what Jesus did. Church, say amen. Yeshua Messiah. Democrat, the, amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. No. Nobody going to pay the price. He did it because he loved us. And the reason why people are in debt. You don't know you're in debt. That's debt. You're in debt. Not just in, in, in finance. You are in debt in yourself. You are in debt. So you become a debt to, to the devil. Amen, everybody. Amen. Amen. People don't realize Amen. it's a debt. It's Amen. a debt. Amen. And we want that debt to go away. Church, say amen. Hallelujah. So if you really Amen. mean what you say, that debt is going to vanish away and you're going to begin to see a difference in your life. Hello, somebody. God love you so much that this needs to be talked about. And this is not talked about all the time. Just, uh, uh, you can have you can have a uh, uh, ten billion dollars and still be in debt. Amen. Be in debt with your life and lose it. Hello, somebody. And go straight to hell. But it's not God's will. So when you ask God to help you, the Holy Spirit is the one gonna help you. When you make that make that move, that step, like a baby make a step. Even if the cross it, it, it's hurt because it's hard to forget somebody accuse you and and you trust you and betray you. Isn't that right? You can't do it on your own. Your flesh can't do it. Church, amen. 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 But with the help of the Holy Spirit, if you seriously want to be set free, he will help you. You make that first move like a baby make the first step and crawl. We may need that first step and crawl to the Holy Spirit. I really need some help because I really got a problem in this area because you, I, I was molested. I was molested when I was two years old. I was, I was violated. I was almost killed. I'm almost raped by 13... I was almost killed again 
Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm talking about. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. I was killed almost by my ex-husband, and, and God protect me. And my husband was look, my ex-husband was looking right at me with the shotgun, and he couldn't see me. God protect me in the book of Psalm 27, verse 5. He said, in a day of trouble, I will hide you in my pebble, and will father be around you. Do you not know he, he hid me? And my ex-husband was telling my, my chihuahua, you know, they make noise. Where's she, boy? Where's she? That's what he named the dog boy, because he was a boy. Where's she at, boy? I'm going to kill her. I'm right there looking at her. I had to forgive him for what he did. And I know it hurts. It's a deep hurt that what people did to you, and you ain't did nothing to them. And then you say, say, wow, I was born, God. Why you allowed this to happen? God gave everybody a free will to do what's right, everybody. That's why the tree of knowledge was there. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. That God was going to explain it to Adam if they didn't do what they spoke, they did what they did. We the choices we make we own, and some choices we don't make it, it happens. Amen. But we can we can turn that around by allowing the Lord Jesus Christ accept Him as our Lord and Savior. That's the only way we can get baby change, and let Him direct our life daily by His Spirit, and ask Him to help us. And we can be set free. And when it's time to leave here, we don't have to go to hell. We can go to heaven. Because you make that step and ask him to help us. That's the key right there. Remember I gave you an example? That God heard me and I got in a place of like a pity thing. And he heard my prayer when I cried out th that morning. Hello, y'all. Amen. Amen. He hears a sinner prayer, if they, they're honest. He hears a righteous prayer. A firm and affectionate prayer of a righteous one of very much. If they're serious mind, he hears your prayer. So I was serious that morning hearing my prayer. So he prevent whatever the devil had planned for me to, to turn me against somebody. To heal, hatred. That's what that's what unforgiveness brings. Hatred, bitterness, brings in, oh gosh, you name it. Jealousy, insecurity, witchcraft, you name it. Manipulation, all that stuff it brings in. It brings in a strong spirit of rejection. And that spirit of rejection comes from the seed of your mama and your daddy. And the mama and daddy that didn't repent, and it comes from their mama and daddy. It goes to generation to generation, ancestor by, amen. And so it comes on you. And if you don't get rid of you, it goes to your seed, your, 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 uh, your children. Do you understand that, everybody? Amen. 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 So it's a complicated situation. But all things are, are, are possible if we believe. He can turn that complicated situation into a possible situation that you can be free from that. And you don't have all these struggles. You're going to have struggles, but you won't have it like you had before. Amen. You're going to be free, feel more free in the spirit. Be able to walk in the spirit and see. And when you are challenged, amen, it will not bother you as well as it did before. Church, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So some, you know, some people like to give them a piece of your mind. Oh, y'all not saved. Hello. Well, they mess you up so bad, you want to give them a piece of mind. And that's probably don't give people too much peace of mind. We're about to lose our mind. <laughs> Trying to give them a piece of mind, what we feel, and ain't working out. Amen. Hello. Amen. Amen. Hello. Amen. 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 So when we allow... The Lord to do what he has to do, he will keep us. So we all have been there. And some of you still there. Some of you still holding on the path. Let it go. It's not worth it, everybody. When I decide to make that quality decision by the help of the Holy Spirit, let it go. I can sleep at night. The only time I'm asleep, I'm up praying, not worrying about nothing. And I can pray for those the people that uh, uh that that talk about me and, and and hate me. And I couldn't do it without the Holy Spirit. That's a good feeling, y'all. You do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? Amen. Amen. Not only that, Amen. I can laugh at him when they're mad with me. <laughs> I said, God made my heart. He said, No, you're not hard. He said, They don't want me to be hard. I use you to tell them the truth. And when you tell them what I tell them, Amen, that you keeping the wrath off of them and you keep me from doing it. Amen. It just, you know, remind me of Moses. Y'all remember how the children of Moses were so bitter, amen, angry. They was mad with God too, amen. And they was mad because they thought that God only talked to Moses. And God and God told uh, uh, Moses told God that they didn't want to talk to him. He said, okay, then you tell them come here and then you come. Then I will talk to them and I tell them what to do. When he did, and that happened real quick, they couldn't take it. They said, well, no, we can't take we can't take God. We're under conviction. Because you know why they was under conviction? Because some people ain't going to change no matter what you tell them. Ain't that right? Hmm? 
Amen. Amen. And so when the president of God came in and talk, they couldn't take it. And they said, well, we take, we, Moses, you tell us because we can't take that. No, because you ain't going to change. That's why so many people miss it going to the promised land. Well, the same thing has happened now. History repeats itself. So many, some of you are missing it because you're not allowing the Holy Spirit to change you, to get rid of that stuff, that, 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 that still dirty laundry. Amen. You're trying to cleanse yourself and stand that the Holy Spirit, he got the right potter, which is the word of God. He got the right condition, which is, is, is him. Amen. To get all that cleansed out. And then you put it in the dryer. Make sure that you're clean, that there's no wrinkles and there's I mean, no old ways, no things in you. Amen. You are, tr you are allowing him to make you have a better life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. I hope that you learn something in, in this. Amen. I like how Amen. the I I like how the Lord put it, even a child could understand it, didn't he? <laughs> Amen. He broke it down. For you ain't got no you have no excuse not to understand it. You didn't understand it because you choose not to understand it because you're still holding on to those dead weights. Amen. That's why a lot of them could not get there. And don't get like Moses did. But he still made it. Because he repented. He let people get to him. You know how some people you tell them something. And they still don't listen. You keep telling them something. And you got to be careful. They'll make you mad. Say okay this is it. Now do it this way. Instead of going to God. You end up telling yourself. And then you mess up. Ain't that right? You understand where I'm coming from? Amen. 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 Because some people can make it that way. And you got to watch it that you don't go that way. So is that when, when that happened. They said, all right, then why you keep asking? You got to ask Holy Spirit, please help me. Don't let me say the wrong thing. Amen. Don't let me repeat myself over. I just got out of debt. Amen. I'm not talking about financial uh, uh, stuff, your old bills. I still got a debt. I still, I just got a debt in my life. And you're working on my life that it get better. You're perfecting those areas in my life that needs to be perfect. Amen. So I know that I'm getting debt free. I know that I'm no longer debt to the things that uh, bother me. I'm no longer to the debt things that cause me to do something. I'm being set free. Amen. Every day. But I'm allowing the Holy Spirit to get rid of those things that need to get rid of me if I can go on. So when I face the Lord, amen, he says, that faithful servant, that been faithful a few, welcome in. I'm going to make you rulers of the many. Amen. So what else we learn? We learn that nobody's perfect. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. Amen. Jesus Amen. is the only one perfect. Amen. But we got people think they're perfect. They never mess up. They go on this and never. <laughs> so he can't work with them. Because they have put on the spirit of Antichrist. Pride. Ego. Haughty. And God said, what do he do with a pride spirit? He abase it. He don't like it. That's one he don't like a pride spirit. That's one thing he don't like. In the book of Proverbs, he talk about that. Amen. So let him do a work in you the way he's supposed to do it. Where he wants to do it. And if you let him make that move, just like when you make chess, you you play chess, you know, uh, and you want to make sure that you uh, get to the end to be the king and the queen. You want to make sure that he that he's going to make us king, high priest, you know, king. All right. We are kings in the Bible. So we want to make sure we get there. Don't let the enemy come and take that away from you. Trust in that. That you may walk in the authority that God ordained you to walk in. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say amen, everybody. Amen. 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 It, was, amen. it was an awesome word from God, wasn't it? Hmm? it amen. It was so awesome for God be to get glory. That I like how you broke it down and, and played me and him together. <laughs> the Holy Spirit. Amen. For you could understand what he's saying. That's what he's doing to me. Amen. It's not that I'm better than anyone. He's taking me to no level. Like Jesus. Because I made my mind up. Amen. Every day. To, I'm not, I have not arrived. He's still perfecting things in my life. But I'm allowing him to do a work in my life. That I, to perfect the areas of my life. That I'm able to go on. That I will make a difference in someone's life. Amen. That's the key right there. Are we really making a difference in someone's life. To make a life change. To turn their life every day over to Jesus because it's policy we die daily so it's not an overnight process it's a daily process amen hallelujah hallelujah I tell you I've been blessed today amen and uh have you been blessed amen 
Amen. Have you ever any questions you want to say before I ask you um, to take uh, communion? Amen. Uh, ask any question before we take the uh, prayers of prophetic dreams and vision. Anybody have any questions? I think God answered all your questions, didn't he? Three things you got to learn to do in order to walk in forgiveness. You got to admit, admit it. Even if you're not wrong, a, 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 a mature Christian will ask forgiveness even if you're not wrong. That's, the, that's God divine love. That's God love. When it says love covers much of sin, means that his love covers all the sin in our life. So when his love is in us, we're able to forgive them of this, all the sins as well. Amen. Because of the love of God in us. Church, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So we have any questions? I tell you, this is this has been awesome, hasn't it? <laughs> I love the word. Do you love the word? I love the word. Amen. All the answers in God's word. Amen. All you need to know is in God's word. All you're looking for when you're challenged of your walk, when you're challenged to do what's right, and the enemy try to come and do wrong, everything is in God's word. Amen. If we allow the Holy Spirit to take us right there, direct to that word that is relating, that relates to our issue, we could be set free from that if we let the Holy Spirit direct us. Amen. Amen. He's right there. Amen. Want to answer you? He's right there. Want to set you free? He never leave you. He's God Himself. And Jesus, one hundred percent man and one hundred percent God. They all one. Amen. So if God got a holy trinity, guess what Satan got? He always duplicate what God does. What, what does he have? He got a satanic trinity. He got the anti-spirit. You know what anti-spirit is, right? Hello? Anti-spirit is the false prophet. He got the, uh, the antichrist. We know who the antichrist is, don't we? Hello? Amen. Satan. Yeah. No. It's it, it's the uh the beast. Satan's son, beast. Who's at the anti God is Satan the dragon. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He always duplicate what God does. Remember that. He come as a subtile spirit to deceive the world. And mostly who who you want to deceive is who? Christians. Amen. That's who you want to deceive. And he's he going to do his best, amen, to deceive you, to keep you from going on. Remember, we cannot perfect ourselves. How we are perfected every day. Who could tell me? In the Word. That's right. The Word of God. By the direction of the Holy Spirit. And the more you get in the Word, the anointing comes in. How the anointing comes in great in your life. I'm saying these things because God wants y'all to walk in a great anointing. He said, greater works we shall do in his name. He gave you a hint in the first part. And thanks. How do the anointing get greater in your life? By the Holy Spirit. That's right. By the direction of the Holy Spirit. Because when you get in the word, you need the revelation of the word. You need the understanding of the word. You need him to break it down for even a child understanding. Teaching is not supposed to be uh, 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 so, so like profound in, in preaching, but so uh, you got it going. It's supposed to be like Jesus did, broken down as a parable story for even a child will understand. That's what teaching is supposed to do. But the same thing, it brings in revelation. And the, who is the rev who brings in the revelation? The Holy Spirit. He's the revelator. Amen. That brings in God's divine will and purpose of the mystery of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So keep it that way. When you feel that someone hurt you and the enemy try to remind you again, you rebuke it and bring the word up. Amen. That God can, uh, uh, that uh, you have already let it go. You're not going to receive that no more in Jesus' name. You learn to forget those things behind and press on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
So you're always going to be challenged Amen. in your walk in God. Remember that. You're always going to be challenged. So when you challenge, you, your ammunition is what? The Word of the God. The Word of God. Amen. You may not, I, I say a lot of them remember the Word. I sometimes remember, the Holy Ghost remember for me, but uh, the Word coming, the, um, the Word of God only coming real if you believe it and receive it. And God will open your eyes and let you see. And that word would take you to other verses. One verse can take you to a whole lot of verse when you allow the Holy Spirit to do it for you. Amen. I have been blessed today. Have you been blessed? Amen. 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 So the teaching was different today, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was. Amen. Amen. It was on a fire. <laughs> the Holy Ghost. Amen. And so he said, women well, do something. Just some people do it. I'm not the only one. I'm not selfish. He called other people to break it down for a child to understand it and make it. When when people teach the word by the rush of the Holy Spirit, that should make you more hungry. And let me say this again. The Holy Spirit said when, when you are really called to teach, you don't have to be a teacher. Amen. You could teach the word by the rush of the Holy Spirit. The people should be hungry more, more of the word. Isn't that right? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So I just praise God for all of you on here today. Amen. Praise God. I, I'm just, I got so blessed. I mean, I got blessed. Amen. I like how the Holy Spirit broke it down and gave us uh, information. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to take this communion. Amen. And he said, often you take it. Amen. You don't have to be. Uh, I mean, you don't have to be. You have to be a Christian. No, don't take this. Don't take this. We're not saved. Amen. We got anybody on here is not saved at the bottom and the front. Everybody saved? You know, I ask because some of you be in the back so long, you don't even know your own back slide. Amen. <laughs> How do you back slide? What makes you back slide? Disobedience. Isn't that right? Huh? Amen. Amen. Saul disobeyed, and he said, "Man must obey and not uh, uh, what? Not sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice." Amen. And so he lost all ownership and everything. Hallelujah! And God allowed the spirit to be upon him, just like in the Bible, in the testimony says, uh, "When they uh, disobey, Amen, go a different way, and." Uh, Seven more spirits come in worse. Amen. But I, I understand in the Old Testament, it just says God allowed the spirit to come upon him. What's worse? Amen. All right. All up here going to take the communion. All you need some water, which you turn into wine. And you need some bread. Amen. Amen. Uh, you got the mazza bread. And you got the grape juice. I don't want nobody to get drunk on the wine. Okay. <laughs> Amen. 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 Okay. All right. We're going to let uh, uh, Apostle Dr. Marquis to open up the communion and pray for us. Go ahead, outside. Dr. Marquis? Are you there? Hello? Blessings, blessings. I I was having problems getting my phone off of mute. Okay. I'm so sorry. That's the apostle. Okay. Uh, grace and peace to everybody on you know, this first day of the week. We just bless the most high for being who he is. And we bless you guys for being here today. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, looks like I'm having four seconds. Can you all hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. The hell with the devil. Go ahead and pray. Jesus, I'm good. So let me let me um let me pray. Um, we just thank God for this this glorious occasion of communion. Uh, we bless you, Holy Ghost and Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. We bless you, God, for just being who you are in our lives. We thank you for the shedding of the blood, um, for the commemoration of our sins. We thank you for the, the breaking of the body. Uh, we thank you for Jesus the Christ, Yeshua Hamashiach which hung, lived, and died for our sins. We thank you, God, for the things you've done for us. 
seen and unseen. We bless you, Lord, for this day. God, we know that we can complain about things, but Father, you have been so monumentous in our lives, and we just bless your holy name. God, we thank you, and we love you for this opportunity just to commune with you one more time, Father. Mm -hmm. As you say, do this often in remembrance of me. Mm -hmm. And Father, we just pray for your forgiveness, Father. We pray, God, that you will be a still voice in our ear, Father, that we would hear the instructions, God, as it says in the book of Job, Father, and seal it in our ears, God, to advance your kingdom, to bring souls to Christ in the name of Jesus. God, we just bless your holy name for this woman of God, for her mantle, for her ministry, God. We pray for supernatural strength in her body, Father. We pray for supernatural finances and blessings to come upon her, Father. And we just bless you for everyone in this room, God. We thank you, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, Father, for just the many blessings, Father. We can't thank you enough, Father. And as we commune, Father, we pray that we have a sound mind, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. That all of the things that we have odds against our brother and father, that we're forgiven in the name of Jesus. And we just bless your holy name. We thank you and we love you, God. With the power of the Holy Spirit, God, we say thank you and love you in the name of Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. We do pray and we bless your name, God. Amen and amen. Amen. So let's take the bread. What that represent? The body of Christ. Amen. Think about what he did with his body for us. And when you think about it, you won't have time to think about what somebody did to you. I mean, the passion of Christ cannot point, can really show it, how, how they whip him. The price was so expensive. You had to be with no sin. The Lamb of God was the only one who can do it. The sure Messiah, the only one. And when they whip him, it, it went all into his body and twist his body. Amen. Amen. He, he was nothing to look upon, to come to look upon. He did all that because he loved us. Think about it. Every 39 lashes represent what we're going through that we don't have to go through because he did it all for us. And therefore, we are thankful for all he did. Amen. So when we take this, Amen. The bread, the maza bread, what we got, uh, we got a cracker that be fine. Remind us his body, and give him thanks. So let's take this right now, Amen. Mm. One God, I just saw vision when it hit him. Woo! I couldn't take that. Nobody could take it. Amen. Then we have the blood. His blood. And without any shedding of the blood, there's no redemption of sin. If they knew what he was going to do, he would have never went to the cross. Amen. If they knew when they pierced him to the side, the oil of him, the anointing, and the blood came running down. We will not be forgiven for sin. So let us remind and give thankful to that in Jesus' name. Amen. Just amen. 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 Take that now. You know, y'all can get this and buy this. Cheap on, on, on Amazon, a Christian thing. Amen. And take this at often. Yeah. And yes, the little cup. And that little cup turned to wine, too. <laughs> and the little Marza bread, the little bread. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, God just say something. Sometimes we're trying to fit our shoe into a name brand name. And that name brand name is Jesus. But in the name brand name and walking like Jesus, but walking like somebody else. Amen. But God say, if you allow him to put the right shoe on you, you're going to walk in the right place. And the doors is already open for you, said the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Don't allow man to put that shoe on you and say that's what you're supposed to do and that it's not what God requires of you. But when you allow him to do it, you're going to walk right in and flow the way he wants you to flow. Amen. And then things is going to start being ordered in your life and things you didn't ask for start coming to you. Understand that they're not going to go where you're going. They're not going to do what you're doing. They want to. But are they willing to wait on the Lord? Are they willing to be obedient and allow God to do it His way? And as you wait, God said, that vision and dream that He gives you, it shall come to pass. And actually, He said, seriously, spiritually, that is getting ready to come to pass. He said, I already released it. But he's not saying it when it's going to be because he don't want nobody to know about it. Because he don't want nobody to hinder it. What he got for you. Because people will try to hinder because they'll say, why will God give that person that? And I didn't know. Amen. So God say, you know who you are and it's getting ready to happen. Just amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Say amen. Maybe several of you. If that's you, if that's you, several of you, maybe it's more than one person. Be thankful because all that you've been going through is a reason. You can't grow if you be comfortable. So he had to put you in an uncomfortable position. Breakthroughs and blessings don't come when everything's looking good. It comes when he puts you in a place that you have no choice but to trust him. But God said, you're coming out on top as the head and not the tail. Whoa. That's, that's awesome. Amen. No longer you'll be the barrio, but you're going to be the lender. Whoa. That's awesome. And I'm talking to several of you. It's not one person. It's several of you. I want you to say, it is me, apostle. I believe it and receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. It is me, Apostle. I believe it and receive it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And God say you you uh, ask because you listen to forgiveness. He's going to bring the spirit of reconciliation, the spirit of restitution, the spirit of reconstruction, the spirit of repentance, amen, and the spirit of restoration and recovery. Amen. So that was taken away. God said, I'm going to restore it, and you shall recover all like you told David. Oh, I like that for myself. Hey, you ain't got to take that. I receive that, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Uh, there's a furnace of fire bit over your life. And that fire is the Holy Spirit. And he's taking you into a place. It's almost like the first time. You've never been. Amen. But he's promoting you. Promotion don't come from the east and the west. But it comes from the Lord. Amen. And there was a time you want to give up. It's almost related to the same one. But God say get ready get ready because he ready he's getting ready to bless you right in front of those same ones that say you weren't going to be anything hallelujah somebody say amen amen amen, amen. amen. hallelujah amen. praise god there's also going to be a financial breakthrough said the lord for his people and the reason why he's going to get a financial breakthrough he told me last night is because he wants the people out of debt and he wants you to be able to do what you have to do because what's coming to land, his people is going to be blessed right in front of the people who don't know God. And y'all going to be example to the ones that don't know God. And they're going to say, how huh, in the carnation that you are blessed in a time like this. Amen. Amen. It's, it's Amen. because Amen. your faithfulness, Amen. obedience, and your relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Someone had have, have been having a wrangle, ringing in the ear. Who is that? A ringing in the ear. It hurts. Amen. There's an infection in your ear and God wants to heal it. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yes, 
Yes, ma'am. That's me. Who is me? Cassandra? Yes, ma'am. Which ear is it? My left ear. Let me say I should have said that first, but God forgive me. Because he's talking to me. Amen. And God said there's an affection in your ear. And God is touching your ear right now. I command that affection to come out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I send the fire of the Holy Ghost in your ear for divine healing right now. Complete healing. That this affliction will not return again the second time. In the name of Jesus. Let the healing power of the Holy Ghost touch you right now. And there's fire going in your ear. Healing your ear. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Do you feel that, uh, uh, Precious? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I do. Hallelujah. Your throat been dry lately? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. God is touching that right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You're not you're not gonna have a COVID virus. That's the enemy trying to do. Right now, God said you heal your complete body. Where it's like it's uh tired, weary. He's touching you and strengthening you right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. He making complete whole a healing in your body in the mighty name of Jesus. And God I give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, I want to say this uh, to you. You're driving, ain't you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can you let your windows up? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let your windows up. Make a little noise. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, I hear the Spirit of God say, stop letting people get to you. Do we you know what I'm talking about? Yes, ma'am. The purpose that the enemy want to get to you, it runs your pressure up. You understand? Speak Holy Ghost. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Stop letting people get to you. Amen. And don't let them agitate you because that's the trick of the enemy. Amen. You know, like you feel like you're dead sometimes. You're not like yes. life. Well, the enemy wants to take you out before time. So I bind that premature death in Jesus' name. That you will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. This was meant against you. Is going back to that person. Who don't like you. Amen. What was meant against you. Is on them if they don't repent. In Jesus name. Amen. Yes. It's a female. Okay. It's a jealousy there. Amen. But God said what was meant against you. If they don't get it right, it's coming on them. Amen. So God making completely wholeness in your body. And that you're going to begin to rest better than you did before. That's what God says. All right? In Jesus' name. Yes, ma'am. Amen. It is done in the name of Jesus. And uh, who, who is around you? Ma'am. Who do you let me around you? Um... I don't have too many friends or anything like that. Uh, I just kind of stay to myself a lot, mostly my family. Well, family, it said that don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, okay? Amen. So that's who's around you, that's what God is saying. A lot of times you got to be quiet, amen. All right, for things can manifest in your life, all right? Yes, ma'am. Amen. I receive it. Okay. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Right. Praise God. Who's that person that they feel they've been judged by people and they keep judging you, putting you down? Who is that? I also had the ringing in the ears. Who is that? Tiffany. Tiffany, you had a ringing in your ears too? Yes, ma'am. I have ringing in both of my ears, and I've had them in there for like three or four years. Oh, the hell with the devil. I command those ringers in the ears to stop right now. Amen. That was spoken against your life. That curse is broken in Jesus' name. 
That manipulating witchcraft uh, uh, for you on here is uprooted right now through the blood of Jesus Christ. And I release the fire of the Holy Ghost on that person. From this day on, your ears will open up. The affection is gone. And that you'll be able to hear more in Jesus' name. The healing power of the Holy Spirit is on you right now for complete healing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Do you feel that fire going? Yes, I feel Ooh, it. Katale, kota maleka no siya. Jemon leka, jete mala. It is over in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I receive it. How's your ear is? Ooh, I can't hear it. In, I can't hear it in the um, right ear, but I, I continue to hear it in the left ear. Well, that right ear is going to open up too in Jesus' name. I command it to open up. Come on, y'all praying the spirit while I'm speaking this. I command it to open up right now in Jesus' name. It's open up right now. Come up. You spirit of witchcraft. You spirit that was sent against us. I command you to loose right now in the name of Jesus. Now she will hear our both here in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I release a fire right now on that person. Amen. Now lose the fire. Somebody say fire. Fire, fire, fire. That was meant to kill her. Fire of the Holy Ghost on them. That meant to kill her. It will not be able to manifest. Now the other ears open up right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Open up in Jesus' name. Amen. Is it open up? Yes, ma'am. You can have both of them now? Yes, ma'am. Somebody give Jesus praise right now. Hallelujah. Somebody give Jesus praise right now. Hallelujah. And from this day on, Nahu 1 9, these affliction will not return no more the second time. Your ears will stay open until you ready to leave out this world that God is trying to leave in Jesus' name. No premature death. You will not die before time. You will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord in Jesus' name. You are a prophetess of the nation. You know that. You're a prophetess. And this person that came to get you is jealous of you. Amen. And they're supposed to be a Christian. You know, most of our problems is a lot of Christians. You know, that call us a Christian. Come against one another. And it's broken in Jesus' name. It will not return no more from this day on in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Thank you, God. That's it. Come on, Tiffany. That's it. You've been through a lot of our day. That's it. Go ahead, Tiffany. Come on, pray in the tongues. And I'm speaking tongues. Let the power come on. 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 Let Somebody give me praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, oh God. She hears. Hears. Her ears are open, y'all. Come on. That's been going a long time. Somebody give God praise. She's been through a lot. Hallelujah. God did a miracle. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 
never return. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes. Never return. Amen. That was uh, Tiffany. Tiffany, excuse me, everybody. Tiffany, that was sent to kill you. You supposed to have been dead last year. Amen. You supposed to have been dead last year, but God stopped that. Because the enemy wants to stop. You supposed to be traveling and going out there. You're prophetess of nation. And you got an anointing on your seer. Amen. Hallelujah. And God's going to restore your dreams and vision. He's going to restore what the enemy tried to take away from you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I receive it. Thank you, God. Amen. Look what God did today. Y'all need to give God praise. Both of us. Y'all don't know. Both of us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 It is done. It is done. Amen. Amen. It's done. And that uh, name went on, and the affliction would not return no more the second time. It's over. Now, the person that did it to you is, is suffering for that. Amen. They don't repent, said the Lord. Amen. Uh, Amen. That happened to somebody else came on the line, and somebody wrote witchcraft on them, and God told me to tell them they have to midnight to repent, and they didn't repent. Well, you know, it went on the witch. Uh, I hear about the witch, but it went on the person that tried to kill the other one. And so God gave him a chance to repent. She said, Apostle, it happened just like you say. For God be the glory. And uh, I thank God for honoring the words that he gave me. He told me he's going to honor the words that come out of my mouth. Because speak the truth. Amen. So it Amen. never returned no more. Now you're going to be able to go forth. Are you married? No, ma'am. You're going to get married. Ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, yes, God. There's, there's a man already looking at you. He's tall, brown yes. skin. <laughs> <laughs> You like oh. you know who he is? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this oh, day. Oh, he's tall and brown oh, skin. Yes, he's a prophet. <laughs> Amen. And he has the aspatal anointing on him too. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's your husband. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Yeah. Hallelujah. I I was praying for my uh son uh apostle malcolm i said now this wife got to come as soon as possible she don't came he don't marry he said apostle i said yeah that's the one <laughs> amen so god is telling <laughs> my people marriage gonna come to pass amen so uh um, you, you're gonna be happy you won't go through what you went through uh two or three years ago with somebody else amen yes, amen so that was they ain't meant to be but this guy is for you amen hallelujah Amen. Yes. So Thank God's you. I receive it. Thank God's you. God is getting you ready. That's we had to break that and everything else. You can hear your husband. Amen. Everything yes. go fine. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> praise God. Somebody give God praise. Amen. Amen. Y'all praise. Y'all praise God for her husband, and then y'all get your husband. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a woman on on Facebook. Tashisha. Your ear is healed too in Jesus' name. Amen. And God told me to tell you, God, worrying, God got you, and things going to work out the way God wants to work out. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody give him praise. Hallelujah. Already done. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for on there. I don't look at the numbers on here. I just look who's on here. Amen. I never go by the numbers. We can have a whole lot of numbers, but I like it when it's small. I like it when it's large too. But uh, you get a chance. I like it how God wants it. I just changed my mouth. But okay, Holy Ghost, correct me. Amen. But anyway, uh, anybody have a dream and vision? Okay, talk a little louder. What your 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 phone is? It's not coming in great. Oh, I'm in my car. Okay. Yeah, talk. Turn a louder if I can hear you. Okay, can you hear me? 
That's a little bit. Can you hear me? Uh, go ahead on. Um, I had a dream like he was a glass jar with oil and it had a, a fly in it. And I woke up. It was a glass jar with olive oil? Yeah, olive oil, yeah. And the fly was in it? Yes. Oh, okay, that's Bezabar. It's a it's a spirit trying to stop the anointing in your life. Amen. That's Bezabah spirit, and that's the um. Not only Bezabah, that's the spirit of witchcraft. Amen. But God say, it's not going to work. Amen. So the oil stands for the anointing. So the glass say the oil is in the uh, the glass uh, is in there in your life, but the the spirit is trying to stop it for you to go forth, and God's going to destroy that spirit. That it won't be able to stop the anointing to flow in your life. What was said, what was spoken, is unspoken right now over your life. And God said, Isaiah 54 17, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. You shall walk in anointing. They are not be able to stop it. You know, the fly got in there, but he couldn't do anything. Because he can't stop God's uh, hands on your life, the anointing on your life. That's what God says. Amen. Amen. And got in there but couldn't do anything. Couldn't move around. So that means it can't touch the anointing. Amen. It won't be able to happen. In Jesus' name. Somebody give him praise. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody else? Thank you. Amen. You have a dream and vision or you need special prayer? If God give me a word, I give you a word. Amen. It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be a direct word accuracy from God. Amen. Say something. Amen. Hello, um, Apostle. I had a dream okay. um, two nights ago. This is Jessica. Okay. Um, I had a dream that I had separated from my husband. That I had took the kids and I had separated from my husband temporarily. Oh. And that's all I remember from the dream. Well, guess what? I dream about you and your husband. Wow. <laughs> I don't know was it I saw it on uh, on on the real, but I dream about your husband. You was walking away, but you wasn't walking away to leave him. Amen. So God is reversing that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And God is doing the work in your husband. So have a little patience with him, okay? Amen. All right, that's what God say. He's working on them. So when I saw that, I saw uh, that was just confirmation, <laughs> Amen. And He brought that back to me, and He says He He shall be turned around, Amen. And sometimes y'all have disagreement. That's in a lot of marriage, but hang in there. God is working on them. Okay. Amen. Okay. Amen. The problem is y'all don't have patience for one another. Okay. Amen. So, uh, who's the strongest, you or him? Say that one more time, Apostle. Who's the strongest in the Lord, you or him? The Lord revealed to me that I am. Okay. I, I, I'm glad you said it because it's you. Pray for your husband. He has a beautiful testimony. Y'all have a beautiful ministry. Amen. The day that you're going to be pastors over church and you'll be able to witness to those that come in. You're going to have all different people come in in different walks. That people would not accept to come in. Amen. And y'all testimony of your marriage and where God brought you around is gonna gonna have a big capacity of people coming in. Okay? Amen. Amen. So anytime that God puts something together, he uh, you know, he's still working on it to complete it. Amen. So have a little patience, okay? It's gonna work out. Because your ministry is together. His testimony for where he came from. And your testimony where you came from is going to reach a lot of people, amen, and it's going to turn their life around in Jesus' name, okay? Amen. Amen. All right. God bless you. God bless you too, Apostle. Okay, precious. Anybody else? And that's something he brought back the vision I had of him, and he should bring it in. <laughs> and he had me to pray for you. And that's something. <laughs> amen. Amen. Boy, God bless you, Amen. My it blow my mind. It let me know that what the enemy was trying to do. Amen. He was standing there. You was walking off with the baby. And the other children stand behind. The other two. Amen. 
and but it won't happen. But if also I saw you on the um, the reel of uh, Tic Tac, something like that, where the baby was walking. You said walking. God's going to heal your son completely. Amen. So God Amen. and me completely. I pray for him that he's going to walk completely. Amen. Amen. And Ooh. he says that every day. He says, Jesus is going to make me walk. Yeah, and I said, Amen. Keep on saying because he will walk. Amen. Who they have autism? Who they have autism? Child has autism. Amen. Well, God's going to heal the child who got autism. I didn't see your child have it. Somebody else. Apostle. Uh huh. Apostle. Okay. Um, I don't have children, but um, in my classroom, I have a precious little boy um that has uh, that has that, and I've been praying for God to heal him. So I'll receive that for him. Okay. When God is gonna touch you, that's a demon. That's all what it is. There's no sickness. I remember a young boy. Was quite a few people came to the church. Amen. And uh, they got healed from autism. Amen. And so he's going to be healed from autism. Amen. Hallelujah. And so when he went to back to school, his mother said, well, my pastor uh, 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 and God and her spoke. And my, and that's what he Because the teacher said, well, he don't have it no more. No, God is a healer. There's nothing he cannot do. Even also, Amen. another, um, my cousin, uh, 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 spiritual God daughter, daughter had it. And she's doing much better. Thank you, Jesus. So we've been praying. So he's healed and she's healed. She's talking better and she's doing better. And so is he will be told to heal in Jesus' name. I just got a wind that came over my face. That's the Holy Spirit breathed on me. So that wind is a wind of healing on both of them in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is done. Tiffany, how you feeling? Prophet is Tiffany. I'm feeling. I feel refreshed. I feel rejuvenated. Hallelujah. Good. That's one here. Amen. Still Stephanie here. Say hi. Who say hi? Stephanie. Stephanie's with you. Yeah. Yes. Okay, y'all together. Yes, ma'am. Okay, darling. Hi, Stephanie. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. I tell Stephanie that change is given to happen in life. Amen. Amen. The process, uh, let me hold this up, the poor connection, the devil is lying. It, it looks like uh, it, you've, been on a, you've been on a burner, but the God's getting ready to change some things. Amen. Amen. And the reason why it seems like you've been on a burner, because what you got to cope with and deal with, he want to make sure you're ready for it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. This is Stephanie uh, Williams. Yes, ma'am. Okay, he just told me your last name. I can't think of your last name. <laughs> he told me your last name. He said, That's, he said Stephanie Williams. I said, okay. <laughs> Sometimes give me your phone number and your address. But uh, I will just give the uh, the names, whatever he wants to give. He'll give it to me. Amen. Stephanie Williams, your, your name's going to be changed to, uh, I hear name named Miller. Who is Miller? Miller. Uh-huh. Who's Miller? Miller. Who's Miller? I don't know Miller. Huh? I don't know. It's gave me name Miller. I knew I remember when he told me about uh Louisville to Louisville, Kentucky. I said, I don't know what's going on in Louisville, Kentucky, but something good coming out of Louisville, Kentucky. And some did come out for Malcolm, amen. <laughs> but some more stuff coming out of Little Kentucky, God's told me. Amen. Hallelujah. So Miller is the name. His last name is Miller. The person's name is Miller. Amen. So when he tell me the name, that means something. Amen. Do you ever like a, a, a like a, a tall type, built husky type football player like man? Yes, ma'am. Huh? This man, I'm looking at him, and uh, 
I don't know who Mill is. Mill gonna get connected to get to him, but uh, he's a he's a um, he's dark skin. I like chocolate chip. <laughs> chocolate chip. Hey, look, I'm looking at him. And uh, but I think he got muscles in the right place, thank you, because the other woman married man, and he got muscles. He had the wrong place when she married him. Amen. <laughs> and he's a. Uh, Built nice. He's a teacher of the word. You like teaching of the word. He loved teaching the word. And not only that, he's a teacher of the word. He got a strong prophetic on him on him as well. Amen. amen, amen, amen. He's a bishop. He's a bishop. <laughs> What's funny? Huh? Yes, Tiffany. Sorry. Tiffany, you laughing at Stephanie? Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. yes, ma uh -huh. And she said, uh, well, y'all got so much noise in the background. I'm sorry, Apostle. Okay, that's better. What did you say? I say he's he's a bishop, and he uh, he's built nice, but it, it's not because he's built nice. It's because of the Lord Jesus in him. Very he's very mild, very um, laid back. Amen. Okay. Very laid back man. Because Stephanie can talk when she gets ready, so he's laid back. Amen. In other words, y'all edify one another. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Right. Amen. The Holy Spirit's talking. Uh, he's coming soon. Amen. So when I get to start praying for somebody coming soon, for God be the glory, they're going to come soon. I hope you bring my husband soon. Amen. <laughs> he is going to bring soon. Bring it. I pray for all y'all husband and wife, and they coming soon. Amen. Hallelujah. Coming soon, said the Lord. Amen. So say amen. Amen. And he's a businessman. He has a clothing. Clothing, is it for women? No, clothing for men. Designing for men. Okay. Yes. Amen. Okay. It's coming soon. He's a businessman. And I was be talking to him. Got my ears open. And, he, and he's well off. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I, I ain't no matchmaker. Don't ask me. I ain't no matchmaker. But it's coming soon. Because you say, God, it's time for me to get married now. Amen. Amen. All right. So it's on his way. He don't describe your husband. Amen. amen. Just say Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Tiffany, how you feel? I feel wonderful. Okay. I feel rejuvenated and refreshed. Amen. I, I give God the glory. Oh, God, open up both of your ears. Somebody give him praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Thank you, God. Yes, praise God. You I keep asking because I, I just love what God does. <laughs> Get yeah, me too. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Apostle. I appreciate the word. Oh, I just give my best friend the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. He said a lot of signs and wonders and miracles are gonna come. Amen. And so I hope y'all can make it to the um to the uh Okay. Yeah, you making it? Okay. In November, yes, ma'am. It's gonna be awesome, powerful. Oh uh, yes, ma'am. We'll be there. Okay, then. Um, I ain't gonna touch. I'm gonna let the Holy Ghost knock you out. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Get rejuvenated, refreshed. Yes, ma'am. Impartation of the fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes, oh God. Hallelujah. Fire. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank Amen. you, God. Y'all may get some water turned on y'all. Don't you? He, he, he might do that again. 
and fall out with me and touch you. You do that. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. Anybody else? I hear a baby in the background. That's your baby. Do we have anybody else want to say something? Just bring the net up. Anybody else? Why the Holy Spirit hot on the line? You better say something. You always did, but don't receive it. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. To hell with the devil and to hell with him again in Jesus' name, all right? Amen. That goes with your dream that just tried to stop the anointing, but it would not be able to stop the anointing in your life, okay? All right? Amen. All right. You be encouraged. See, when the fly came in there, that was the person that was witchcraft, but that's Bezabah. But that spirit of Bezabah that brings in the um, fly to stop it, to hinder you, Benzabah was the prince of, of demons. Amen. But he sent that, that fly, you know, to come in there to stop the anointing, but he couldn't do nothing to you. When he got in to represent the glass, represent you, and the anointing, the oil represent Jesus. So he tried to come in to stop it, but it couldn't do nothing. So when it came in the, bo in the bottle, it just was still. Couldn't do anything. And see, you have already prayed for God. Has ordered me to pray for you. You part of the ministry. But I pray for everybody anyway. Those that connect on this line, anybody that come on the line, whether you in the ministry or you uh, covenant partners, a part here that comes on when I come on. So we pray for everybody. Prophetess Natalie and Prophet Tina. Amen. We pray for everybody. Amen. Amen. So we keep everybody in prayer. That's how you're supposed to do. Amen. All right. Anybody else? I'm picking up somebody uh, has some speaking engagement, and the enemy tried to stop your speaking engagement. And God's going to open that door that you be able to go in the speaking engagement. Amen. Who's that? God has opened that door for you to go and speak because you got, you got something to say. And you're going to Africa. You're going to Sweden. You're going to Canada, Australia. Amen. Jamaica. Who am I talking to? Yourself, Apostle. <laughs> I'm going all over, yes. But I'm going to Africa first, yes. <laughs> she said myself. Amen. I've been invited already. I've been invited to go to Pakistan so many times. Palestine, I'm going to go to India. They don't invite me to everything, but I can't go until my husband comes. He's be here soon. Amen. So I got a lot of invitations. Don't think I'm not invited out. I'm invited to a lot of countries now. Amen. I'll be going soon. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to know if they're ready. Do you think they're ready? For God be the glory. Amen. I don't think they're ready, but <laughs> they better get ready. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I don't, don't walk in no fear by going to no other country. Amen. For God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, anybody have a special request? Amen. Another dream and vision? Well, wow, the Holy Spirit is so powerful. So while we wait, let's do an offering time. Okay, let's plant a good seed. Amen, everybody. Amen. Amen. Some can do 100, some can do 50, 75, 25, 10, and a dollar. So I'm going to go up to $100. I can go up to $500. But I know some of you. And got it. But who have it, you can do it. Amen. Praise God. If you ain't got no sense, then pray for somebody to have some. Okay? <laughs> Hello. Do it at uh, PayPal, uh, Dollar, Cash, App, or Zelle. Amen. Prophet Nana going to put on in the comment. If you could put it on there. Amen. You're not paying for it, okay? And by the way, I'm honest what I do with the money, y'all. That's why God used me. Hello. Amen. Amen. Uh-huh. Uh, when I go get my 
go to the uh, special woman that do my counting. Uh, she said, you cheat on your own self. What do you mean? You're not taking enough out for what you do. <laughs> so, okay, I want to be honest. So I get blessed. Amen. Honesty gets you a lot of where. Amen. People are uh, taking people money and using it the wrong way, but we don't. Amen. Trust, amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's why he blessed me in the spirit realm. Amen. So plant that seed, somebody, okay? And I'm praying for your, your word. If the ministry had been a blessing, especially the teaching was awesome. Amen. And uh, the teaching and what you learned and the prophetic. So plant a good seed. Church, amen. 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 I'm not going to uh, focus on that for a long time because if you're going to plant something, you're going to plant it. Amen. That's all. Let's do it. Isn't that the truth? You don't have to beg for money. If you want to plant it, you plant it. Ain't that right? So, Amen. So, Amen. Prophetess Natalie will put the information on there if you want to uh, do it by Cash Apple. Uh, do it. Amen. This is Good Grounds. Amen. So, you print a hundred, you're going to give you a thousand. Amen. That's what God said. I'm going to give a thousand. I saw it say thousand dollars. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all don't got quiet on me now. Hallelujah. I'll get quiet Hallelujah. On me. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's go to the next thing. You'll plan it. I'm not worrying about your planet. Okay, who else have a dream and a vision? You know I love what I'm doing, y'all. Hello? Amen. If, Amen. If I didn't Amen. love what I'm doing, I wouldn't walk in the anointing. I'm seeing more. I'm hearing more. He's not finished with me. He's still working on me. And I'm very sensitive. And I hear conversation. Amen. Even more. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So the more I get closer in the Word, the more I get closer, the more God reveals Himself to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't speak to me. Amen. Wait on y'all. We got all day now. Uh -huh. You want to say something? Yes. Hello. Okay, go ahead, Precious. Uh, okay. okay I had a dream um, that my brother's um, girlfriend Lynette, this is you, was Lynette. like... Just Lynette? Yes. Okay, go ahead on Precious. Yes, I had a dream that my brother's girlfriend was trying to drown my 11-year-old daughter. Ooh, the hell um, with the devil. And I... Go ahead. I said the hell with the devil. Oh, and, yeah, and I was, um... I was, like, I stopped her. Mm -hmm. And she was, like, getting on the phone, like, trying to talk about me with her friend. And I kept coming back saying, stop. Like, just let it go. You already tried to hurt my daughter. Now, keep my name. You know, keep my name out your mouth. Mm -hmm. And every time she would say something, I would go back to, like, try to fight her. And then my brother came home, and he, he was like, you have to pay me for that plate that you broke. And I was like, I didn't even break a plate. And I just woke up like, Lord, what? What was that? <laughs> Lord have mercy, Jesus. But we, you know, we haven't, I haven't spoken to my brother um, in years behind. So do you know, know do you know the girlfriend? Uh, this, is he still with the girlfriend? Yeah, he's still with her, yeah. So how do you, how do you think he treat the girlfriend? Um, I'm not sure. I haven't, they don't come around anymore. They don't come around no more? No. They, they live. They live in a different place. Uh, yeah, they live in a different city from me. Where they live? Huh? Where did they live? Uh, in Hercules. <laughs> oh, Hercules! I never heard of that. Hercules. Where Hercules? Which? Where's that at, Precious? It's in California. Okay. Oh yeah, Linda, you are in California. Okay. So they live in yeah, Hercules. And you have not talked to her. Uh -huh. Amen. But mm -hmm. so the Lord no, trying to yeah. kill, kill your son. Amen. 
And that's what you're saying. Amen. But you don't talk to them. You haven't seen your brother. Uh, no, I haven't seen my brother in a long time. And you haven't talked to her neither. No. What is that? Because last time I had a dream that she tried to, when we came to visit them at their house, that she tried to offer us an old cake. And I was like, my fam, we are not eating that. I said, that cake is three months old. I said, why would you serve us that old cake? And my niece was in the dream too and she was mm-hmm. telling me my niece was tell- telling me like auntie that's old and i was like why are you trying to sell it's just always <laughs> there's always something I... going on right yes when i dream about them we well, just let you know how she is so you know that your brother and her been having problems and he tried to leave her one time but she stopped him wow so uh when she tried to leave him by working his mind, witchcraft, she controlling him. You know he, she controlled him. Yes. Yeah, so that's witchcraft. So it's not going to work what she's trying to plan against you. Okay. Yeah, so all that witchcraft she planted is backfiring on her. And she's not going to be able to kill your brother in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. She got like, you know how somebody got hint, uh, 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 controlling, she's trying to control your brother. Yes. She's very controlling. And uh, she really don't like the family to be around him too much. No. Nope. Unless she's around him. No. Nope. And so uh, she's doing the best to keep you and everybody else, but she will not be able to kill your child in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So yes. I, I'm really praying that this this relationship break up because she's a witch. And she controls oh your brother too God. much. Amen. So I'm praying for this this Amen. this relationship break up because she's controlling, very controlling on him. You know? It's almost like he can go. Yes. He can go to the bathroom and, and let it go. She wouldn't know where he's going, everywhere he's doing, and everything else. Very controlling. That, that's a, uh, wow. And he's very happy. That's why unhappy. That's why y'all hear from because she's very controlling. He's not even married to her. Could you imagine he was married to her? That'd be worse. So we. Yeah, have, he kept he kept buying her a ring, but he never. They never walked down the aisle, and then. I had a dream that he was crying. Too. Yeah, he's, uh, he's miserable. So right now, we ask God to bring a division in this this relationship because it's not God. She's too controlling, and she will kill him in Jesus' name. And she will try to kill a family member that he loves. He loves his sister. He loves you. So uh, he's going to put a division and put him separated because he don't need that, that confusion. He don't need anybody controlling like that. That's a Jezebel spirit, which is witchcraft in Jesus' name. That'll be uprooted through the blood of Jesus Christ. And I break the curse that she spoke against your family. That's why you have so much problem. Amen. Yes. So I break that curse off of y'all, the whole family, in the name of Jesus. And this witch do not repent. She got to midnight to repent. If she don't repent, somebody say, fire. 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 Fire gonna be on her. In the name of Jesus Christ. If she don't repent, fire is coming on her, said the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah, because she's trying to kill the whole family because she want to control them. But a witchcraft is no stronger than God. Amen. Amen. So I send the fire. And uh, she tried to also sin against you. You know, like sometimes you can't remember stuff. Trying to yes. make your mind. Trying to, she's trying yes. to make you go crazy. So I bind it right now. In Jesus' name, you will not lose your mind. In the name Thank of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Amen. So I break all curses that spoke against you and the whole family in Jesus' name and put a division between your brother and her. That's where all your problem came from, from her. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So it's uprooted right now. She tried to have my niece. She tried to have yeah. my niece to be, like, happen. scared of me. And all. No, it's not going to happen. It's broken. It is broken in Jesus' name. Amen. That's, the main, that's where the root of the problem Thank is, her. Amen. God's going to move her out the way if she got to midnight tonight to repent. And that happened to somebody else. I told them, and that's what happened. When she do not repent, Jesus. amen, God's going to move your brother away from her and lose desire around her. She got from a, 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 a family of witchcraft. Amen. That work on families and work on people. So uh, God is breaking that in Jesus' name. 
It is uprooted Amen. by the blood Thank of Jesus you, Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Every attachment, every soul attachment you, is uprooted right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And you have been losing sleep. You can't rest. It looks like someone crawling yes. on your bed. And you're yes. hearing voices. I break that uprooted in Jesus' name. That spirit Thank is going you, back. Lord. It belongs. It ain't getting on the line to nobody on here and not to their house and their family. It's going right back to the belongs and never return. In the Kappa Thunde, the Mokolata, Sikote Basila la Basata. You come down, break it in Boshoto Buhoya. It is broken right now off your mind. Somebody say, Fire the Holy Ghost. 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 the curse is uprooted right now. This affliction of curse will never return. Satan, your reign of terror is over right now on this family life. In the name of Jesus, you will not destroy the children. You will not destroy the, uh, the family. In the name of Jesus Christ, you're going to lose your hands off her brother mine in Jesus' name and set him free right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody give it praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As, uh, one day I'm going to talk about the altars. This wicked altar of uh, worshiping the devil that she goes and, and uh, uh, what do they call it? Lament, lament, you know, about uh, what she's doing. Amen. It's uprooted right now and I put fire on it. Burn it up, Holy Ghost. Burn it up and put it to naught that she would never be able to get another altar of wickedness. I uh, got your picture speaking over y'all to destroy you in Jesus' name. Her mama is a witch too. Amen. Bind it in this generation. Amen. In the name of right. Jesus. Oh, oh my God. My brother said that too. He, oh my God. Yes, it's, it's, it's a line of witchcraft. Amen. They controlled the whole family. It comes from the great grandma that was a witch. Amen. And that's where they came from. So God is uprooted it right now through the blood of Jesus Christ. Church, amen. 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 It is done. Amen. Your mind is clearing up right now because you've been fighting and been in battle in your mind for a long time. I know mm -hmm. you before you've been in battle. And I told you that was witchcraft before. Now it's got worse. So now your mind going to be clear up. Amen. You're not going to lose your children, your family member. There ain't going to be no premature death mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. And you felt like you was dying and there was a spirit in your room. Those spirits are going right now in your Jesus name, at your house. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not destroy your children, not destroy nothing, not your brother or family member in Jesus' name. The sickness that she tried to put upon y'all is reversed back to her and her family in Jesus' name. She got to midnight, no later than one minute before midnight to repent, or else they're going to die. And they won't live. Amen. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 The curse is broken. In the name of Jesus. Church, amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I thank him too. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is done. Thank you, Lord. Wow. All right, let's get some. Can I say this to you too? Go, go ahead, I'm precious. My, my, my daughter, because you know, my, my brother wasn't speaking to me and he wasn't speaking to my kids, but. Uh -huh. She, my daughter, she 18, she said, Mom, God is telling me that I need to uh, forgive my uncle and go see him. So she went over there to go see him, and then she called me like, Mom, I cannot sleep. She was like, can you please Uber me home? Yeah. She was like, I could not sleep over there, Mom. And she was like, she got, like, statues and stuff over there, and they got rats. See, I, I know, the witch, witch is a witch. She's, uh, she, be, uh, she, got a, she got a worship altar where she i see it that she's praying amen uh -huh. they're praying lamenting that's what we call lamenting amen against y'all but ain't no weapon formed against you and the family and your son and your brother you got a son yes i do i have two sons okay your sons neither none of them shall prosper yeah. in jesus name it is amen. broken right now in jesus name yeah i didn't know that she got told me she does which yeah. girl, she got an altar and she got to midnight. It says 22, 18. What does it say? The witch shall not live. Their power is not greater than God. Amen. Amen. And this affliction will not return. 
in the name of Jesus. And ain't going to go on nobody's house on this line. Go right back to them, the whole family. Amen. And woman of God, I just want to say one more thing. Mm -hmm. the, the, some of the reason why they wasn't coming because mm -hmm. my husband used to date her back in the day. Oh, my God. So I think my brother was kind of feeling, I don't know what was going on. But that's okay. This is over with now. It's uprooted. Okay. okay. We let go the past. She she's not gonna be able to do anything. Okay. Amen. Amen. Okay. All right. It's done. Amen. Somebody give God the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There's peace. There's peace not coming in your home. Amen. There's peace coming in your home right now. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. There's peace coming in your home. Your daughter's protected. That spell ain't going to work on her. That spell ain't going to work on your brother. It's not going to work on no family member. But you try to do something with an altar, she won't be able to do it. Because which witch's house divided cannot stand. They are not. And also around your stomach area, uh, Lynette, you know, you've been having problems with your stomach area? Yes. God said you heal in Jesus' name. Thank you. <laughs> and also those headaches you've been getting in the back of your head. And then in your lower part of your back, those pains are going in Jesus' name. And like sometimes you couldn't walk with your legs. Oh Amen. God. God is healing you, trying to cripple you. You will not be crippled in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It is broken right now. Somebody say, fire! 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 That you're trying to kill her, take her out. You will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord, said the Lord. The curse is broken off for you in Jesus' name. Your whole body is beginning to feel better. Amen. You've been going to one room trying to help you and they ain't help you. But the Holy Ghost is on this room. I'm not saying we're the only room, but it's helping you. You're going to walk in divine healing right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Your body is beginning to feel better right now. In the name of Jesus, that accept that you can get up like you're about to fall out. The script is coming back in your body in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In about Sunday. I want y'all begin to pray in the Holy Ghost up here. Come on, shit in my Sunday for a few minutes. In the Holy Ghost, 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 in the Holy Hallelujah. It is done. It is done and it, it is over. That's my mama. She's prevailing. We are really prevailing. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Girl, they try to kill her. Yes, it's over, baby. Yes, it's broken. And this is this affliction will not return no more. Peace of affliction will not return no more. Right now, your body is feeling better. Amen. You thought you ain't no, you ain't got no COVID. No, you ain't got no virus. No, you ain't got no disease or sickness. You are healed by the by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Your children are being touched. They will not die before time. You will not die before time. The curse is on her and her family. They do ritual and kill them. They use it as a sacrifice. Hope somebody died and the devil's in the blood. He ain't going to get your blood. He ain't going to get their blood in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And your brother is getting ready to break off from her. He will have no desire to be around him. And she won't be able to hold him. Her witchcraft don't work in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You are set free in the name of Jesus. You are set free right now in Jesus' name. Oh, you are set free right now in Jesus' name. Church, say amen. Hallelujah. Yes, you take that. Yes, you're feeling better, precious. Yes. The whole body is feeling much better. Amen. That has been broken off you. How are you feeling that? Yes, you've been suffering a long time. You've been suffering since last year. Let's make it two years. 
It is over with. You don't have to work no more. You're going to sleep better. The pain in your body is going away. Even feel like you're having a heart attack. You would not have a heart attack. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is over right now in Jesus' name. Oh, God, thank you, Lord, for telling me to cover this room. Yeah, you like the dead, precious. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's going. Amen. Because you know, if you didn't come in this room, and I'm saying we don't know room, but you didn't come in this room, they would have killed you. But it, it can't kill you. It's over with. Amen. It's over. Everybody's covered with the blood of Jesus, and the angels are uh, camped around y'all. Amen. To protect y'all in Jesus' name. So the family's protected. Your brother's protected. Look for me. He's going to come home soon. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say amen. 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 You know what? I'm glad that God got this way. Every other Sunday I'm at the hotel here, he knows what's going on. Not for something else. He knows what I need it for. But for y'all too, he knows what he's doing. Don't God know what he's doing? Amen. 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 So how you feel, Dr. Lynette? I feel good. I don't have that uh, around my heart. That, oh, Jesus. Yeah, that, it was like somebody holding you down. around my heart, yeah. Yes, that was the In spirit. My feet. Yes, you oh feel, feel better. Amen. So I want you to do something that you couldn't do before. Amen. Because a lot of times you couldn't even stand up too long. You had to sit down. Amen. Yes. Yes. So now you're able to stand up more. Amen. Hallelujah. Do some jumping oh, jack. You can do jumping jack now. <laughs> I'm going to go to the gym with my daughter. <laughs> yes, you can go now, precious. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. It's over with. It's uprooted. Amen, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. It's over with. Somebody give him praise for that. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. It is over with in Jesus' name. Amen. We just thank God for moving. Amen. Hallelujah. It is done in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He told me to release a financial breakthrough on everybody. I'm releasing a financial breakthrough with a financial failure. Where it's non-sufficient funds, where it's overdraft checks, where it's like, where it's poverty, where just enough to get by, living page to paycheck, it is broken right now. The curses are rooted. In the name of Jesus Christ, that you may get more into the kingdom of God, not just this ministry, but give period to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to take three more people for people that didn't close out. Come on, just get on there. Get on this. This here. Apostle, this okay. is Jessica again. Mm -hmm. um, I had a vision. Uh, and the vision that I had uh, was me praying in tongues. And I seen all four of my children worshiping with me at their own different times. Oh, that's good. That's going to come to pass. It's just what it is. Amen. Amen. The, the, the boy going to be walking soon. Amen. And it's going to be walking. Amen. I see the Holy Spirit going to touch his knee. Amen. But sometimes he can't get up. He's going to touch his knee. Then he's going to stand up. Amen. Amen. Something, something about the left foot. I don't know what happened with that. But he's touching uh, that foot. His left, his left foot um, doesn't stand straight flat okay. foot like his right foot okay that's what i see uh, but the holy ghost is on this line y'all and he's gonna straighten up that foot i see him straighten up the foot amen i see the angel is gonna straighten up that foot amen hallelujah i see where it's crooked he's gonna straighten it out in the name of jesus somebody begin to pray y'all begin to pray in the holy ghost because god's gonna move on them Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> 
walk again. He shall walk again. I want you to go touch his foot while we're talking, uh, 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 precious. Go touch his foot. God's going to start scraping it out. Go touch his foot. Go touch his foot right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Right down for a second. Right down for a second. Right down for a moment. Touch that foot. The angels are right down. Gonna straighten that foot up in Jesus' name. Like straight, like straight. You're fine. You're okay. Like straight. Hallelujah. Remember, he said Jesus is gonna make help you walk. You're gonna walk soon, okay? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's gonna straighten that foot up, and it's gonna bring that leg out because one leg is shorter than the other one. The angel's going to yeah. pull it out. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to put him on the seat. And the angels are over there going to pull that leg out. Somebody give him yeah. praise. Hallelujah. 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 And y'all begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Supernatural miracle on him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, it's already coming together. He gonna walk. Amen. He will walk. He shall walk in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the healing. That leg is coming out, has came out a little bit. You look at it, just put it out a little bit. The angels pull that leg out a little bit. Amen, in Jesus' name. Okay. You're okay, you're fine. Just relax. You're okay. Just relax. The Lord is with him. Amen. How is that lid looking now? It's actually got his knee to the bottom of the floor. You know, yeah, I couldn't do that before. Y'all better give God the praise. 
Guys, put your face down on your head now. Don't kill all the girls. Don't look fast in front of us. Just your face. Oh, you're yeah, my son. Face, face, face. Face, face. Yes. Just put that leg down. Yes. Amen. All right. What's going on with him now? Say that one more time. What's going on with him now? He is crawling down the stairs. Like crawling down the stairs. Instead, he used to hop like a bunny, but he's crawling down the stairs like his baby sister. He used to hop, so he's crawling. That's good. Yeah, he's crawling down the stairs. Mm -hmm. He couldn't do that, y'all. This. God's going to do a complete healing on him. Amen. Hallelujah. He Amen. shall walk in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to make you something to eat. Hold on. Okay. He's, he's, he's crawling. He used to hop like a bunny. <laughs> he ain't going to be hopping no more, bunny. He's going to be walking. <laughs> Jesus. Amen. 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 He Amen. shall Amen. walk Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen, Amen y'all. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Straighten out his leg before his left leg was more um like at an angle. Uh -huh. Like a ninety degree angle. Okay. But once we was praying, he was able to straighten his left leg. Yeah, that's all angels. the way down. Yeah, angels are, are fixing it up. The angel is working on behalf, straightening up the leg. Amen. And I see he's gonna be turning that leg around. You're going to see him walking. Amen. He shall walk in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes, we give God praise. He shall walk. Somebody say, he shall walk. It's already done. It's already in God's will for him to walk in Jesus' name. God is already working on it. God is already working on it. It's already done. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, it's already Jesus. done. All right, it's already done. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give God praise for that, y'all. He goes, come and wake up. He's going to walk in his, he gonna walk in his mama room, and she's going to shout. She's going she gonna to fall out. Yes. Hallelujah. That's the baby. Uh-huh, he's going to walk. Amen. He shall walk. Somebody give him praise that the baby will walk. Already walking. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He's not focused on walking now. He wants some food. <laughs> yeah, he just told me to make him some um, sunny-side-up eggs with cheese. <laughs> oh, wow. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Amen. How old is he, Precious? He is five years old. Oh, yeah. He's walking. He's going to definitely walk. I see him coming to y'all bedroom and surprise y'all. Amen. So it's already done. Somebody give Jesus praise. And it came a long way. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Apostle, huh? um, that's very funny that you say that because I had a vision that my son, um, was gonna one day I was gonna wake up and he was gonna be standing up uh, by my bedside mm -hmm. and he wasn't holding on to the bed like he normally does. He was just standing straight up like his twin. Yeah, but that's what's gonna happen. That's happening. He has no question that's God's confirming. That's what he's gonna do. He's gonna walk. He's already walking. Right now, he's just hungry to eat now. He's not thinking about walking. He wants to eat. Amen. But the yes, angel wants to eat. Yeah, the angel yeah. <laughs> So he's uh, he's doing better than he did before. So let's give God the praise for that, y'all. Amen. So God is God is already He's already completing. Thank you, Lord God. And in Thank fact, God. that 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 leg, God brought that leg out more. Amen. The angels are there bringing that leg out more. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what God doing. He's bringing that leg out more. Praise God, everybody. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. His mind not walking right now. He want to eat, but he's got to bring the leg up. I saw him standing on the bed, and she said that's confirmation. But God showed her. That's why I see he's going to stand on the bed, standing straight up. Amen. 
because the problem was his leg was shorter and it caused him not to stand up and caused the foot to, to twist amen but god said everything is already done it's in the pack package already done amen amen in jesus name Hallelujah. amen amen thank Hallelujah. you lord we give god praise amen for that hallelujah we give god praise for that it's already done Somebody say hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, hallelujah. Already done. Thank already you, done. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Now, did I miss anybody? Because we got to close soon. We've been on here since 12 o'clock. <laughs> 12 30. Apostle. Uh huh. Um, the baby, um, my son's baby mm -hmm. um she did a his fiance did the ultrasound and they said that um half of his mouth is missing oh the hell with the devil there ain't gonna be the mouth missing i bind that up right now in jesus name Amen. he gonna have a full mouth in the name of jesus he's gonna born normal in the name of jesus every plot scheme every form of darkness Every form of witchcraft of that baby is broken right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And I release the fire, the fire. I see who it's coming from. Oh, yes. You witch. Ain't going to work. It's back on you in the name of Jesus. Amen. That baby will walk in the name of Jesus. Amen. And it will Amen. be born normal in Amen. the name of Jesus. So Amen. I release the fire on that demon witch. In the name of Jesus Christ. Coco Batan. Fire. 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 Somebody say fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost honor. Fire of the Holy Ghost honor. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. The baby shall be born normal with, with mouth and everything else. The hell with the devil. And go dead, take another, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, the sound. You're going to find the mouth on there. Everything going to be there. Every part of the body, nothing going to be missing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I, I belt that that belt that means that's the spirit that was on the baby. It's gone in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Anybody, babies? Because the devil trying to take the babies out, cheering out. But Amen. we have to pray for the children. They're gonna take somebody else. Anybody have children? You want to cover? We cover the children with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 The devil will not be able to destroy Amen. your children. I cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Even for a baby not born yet, blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They're going to be born normal. Amen. And the witch going to die. They're going to live. Exodus 22, 18. Amen. Yeah, he under the words out my mouth, he says. He says, say, I'm under the words out your mouth. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. It's done. The baby gonna come come back. That's a testimony. We already testified, and and already it's already done. Her boy walking, and your baby, your grandbaby is normal in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay. Anybody else? Apostle, uh, my son woke up this morning. His throat was real sore. Um, uh -huh. We did a COVID, um, and it's, the test was positive. Oh, the hell with COVID. the devil. We're going to break that COVID off and right now in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I break that spirit off of the baby right now. The boy, how old is he? He's 14. Off of right now. How many children do you have? I have two boys. How old is the other one? He's 12. Okay, bind that right now in the name of Jesus Christ. But he won't be on him. I break that uh, uh, virus off of him in Jesus' name. Every part of his body is healed. Going to line up with God's word in the name of Jesus. Everything is going away right now. In the name of Jesus. And I release the fire of the Holy Ghost of divine healing on him right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Everything is rooted right now through the blood of Jesus Christ. And God, I give you praise, amen, for doing it right now. It is done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is done. You, Even touch his ear, everything that the enemy is trying to do, touch everything of his body. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
trying to kill children, but he won't kill y'all children and nobody else in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 With the devil. Amen. Amen. In fact, I cover everybody's children on this line. Whether they are baby, on up to a grown child, I ask God to cover all y'all children that they will not die before time and whatever assignment, plot, and scheme that it has against your children, it won't work in Jesus' name. The curse been reversed back to the sender and not return no more in Jesus' name. This affliction will not return no more on your children in Jesus' name. I plead the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 It includes nieces and nephews as well. And God said cousins too. Amen. Hallelujah. It's done Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Already done. Hallelujah. Well, I guess that's it. We're going to close out. That's it. Amen. That's it. Other dreams and visions. And the prayer. And that's it, everybody. We'll be back. We'll be back. What happened? Pastor, I just want to say thank you for um, everything. The prayers. Uh, the teachings because I have truly been blessed since I have been underneath your ministry Praise and God. I would like to testify on the fact that my credit score has gone up tremendously so I thank the Lord and I thank this ministry because I have been truly truly blessed yes. and thank you for being used by the Lord amen Praise God. you know what you know about the credit score I look on the uh, God said look on your phone and they told me my my score went up to 39 points. <laughs> She's talking about that. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. It Praise just, it, uh, it's a, in Jesus' name. Y'all going up. Your credit score rose to the top. It's 39 points higher than the average of your age group. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Hallelujah. It went up. Hello, somebody say hallelujah. 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 And right now, hallelujah. I ask God to raise your credit. A score up to in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And, and it garbage off what needs to be Amen. off in the name of Jesus. That your credit score will go up in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 But she was talking about that. I was looking at it and said, What? He went up what? 39 points? I said, well, That's a lot. <laughs> For my, I said, Good. Thank you, Jesus. Boy, the God is moving, y'all. Amen. He's breaking, he's breaking that. He's breaking that. Amen. That he wants his people. I was talking to him this morning. Well, I talk to him every day, but you know, he says he's getting ready to bring up the scores. Amen. Hallelujah. And he's getting ready to cancel out your debts. Amen. Hallelujah. When he cancels out, just give him the glory. Amen. Praise. Amen. Hallelujah. And those that want to refinance your house, don't do it because you're going to pay off your, your house. No. Amen. Hallelujah. He don't want you to get another loan. Amen. Thank you, Apostle. Huh? Thank you, Apostle. Who is that? That's my son, Tristan. Oh, he's so precious. <laughs> I am you welcome, precious. Let me throw a kiss to you. God bless you. God bless you too, the preacher prophet. <laughs> Thank you for the healing. <laughs> you can't hear you with your mouth full. Thank say? you for the healing. Yeah. Thank you for the healing. Oh, praise God for that, precious. You're going to walk completely. Said the Lord, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What did he say? Hallelujah. He's got a mouth full of eggs. He says Hallelujah. Ha hallelujah. Look at the baby say Hallelujah. Somebody say Hallelujah too. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Even the baby thankful. We give God the glory for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. And I pray that everybody will get rest today and. Uh, no COVID, uh, no virus, no sickness, no disease. If you got hypertension, I'm asking God to break that down to normal. You got sugar diabetes, I'm asking God to get rid of sugar diabetes. I don't have no sugar diabetes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not on medicine. I'm 70 years old. I ain't been on medicine. Uh, I ain't been on no medicine. I'm having a moment. Mm -mm. No, I've never been on. Amen. So I'm asking God to make a divine healing on everybody. 
those that want to lose weight i'm asking god to help you lose weight amen in the name of jesus amen i'm asking god to bring that stomach down those want to lose that stomach amen amen your body i'm gonna speak that over everybody's life those that have eye Amen. problems. Amen. Receive it and receive it in Jesus. Amen. 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 Those Amen. That have, I believe it and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, now. Hallelujah. And, and God touch your eyes. And those got spiders uh, uh, in front of them. God touch that. Any redness, any dryness, Amen. any glaucoma, any uh, cataracts, all is uprooted in the name of Jesus at your eyes in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And God give you a divine healing in your kidney, your liver. Because when your liver is clean, you 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 are uh, 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 disease free. Amen. So God heal your kidney, heal your liver in the name of Jesus, heal your heart in the name of Jesus, heal every part of your body from the crown of your head to feet, whatever is having problems. I'm asking God to heal. Amen. Physically, right now, in the name of Jesus. Privately, right now, in the name of Jesus. I pray also that God will touch your children as well. Once again, divine healing and cover y'all children that no demon of hell will be able to take your children out before time. Amen. When they go to school, or no, the school is out, wherever they go, I ask God to release angels around your children to protect them. Nobody will be able to adopt your children. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody Amen. Say God praise. Protection of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whether they grandchildren, your nieces and nephew and cousins, amen, as well. Cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. Cover your family with the blood of Jesus Christ. And by any premature death, that it will not be premature death in your family at all, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And release a financial breakthrough and release a property. A lot of y'all got property. Y'all don't know that. Amen. And it's going to come up. Uh, uh, a lot of you in somebody's will. Y'all don't realize that. That's what God said. He's restoring that will. Amen. Prop that see lands. I see lands being released. Amen. So I thank God. And those that have a, a lawsuit, that you're going to win your lawsuit in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And every curse. Hallelujah. 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 Break every curse over your bank account, your checking account, your saving account, your credit card, credit account. Amen. I'm asking God to pay off your credit cards. Amen. Pray off your mortgage. In the name of Jesus Christ, pay off your car in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that God will open the door for people that's in apartment will get a house. In the name of Jesus, and God will give you favor to get a brand new home. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. So I want a townhouse, someone a condominium, or you want a uh, a regular family house, amen. I pray that God will give you in Jesus' name. Trust, amen. And ask God to give you favor. Amen. 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 Favor. Amen. Favor. 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 Amen. Favor. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. And uh, how, uh, give him some tea with some ginger. Amen. Give him some tea with some ginger. Amen. And lemon. Amen. The tea Amen. with ginger and lemon. Amen. So that cut that out. He's going to feel better. He's already feeling better. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No more. And these sickness that has come on your body, your family body, I speak name one nine, these afflictions will not return no more in Jesus' name. Amen. And I speak low life for all of you that you live the life that God has you to live for a long time. Amen. And God be the glory. I pray for promotion on your jobs. Amen. Promotion on your jobs. Raises. Amen. I pray for those business people. All business people say amen. I, Amen. I break Amen. every curse that was spoken over your business that your business will flourish in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was spoken against is uh, rooted through the blood of Jesus Christ in the forms of witchcraft, in the forms of any wicked altar that's come against any family on here. I bind it right now in Jesus' name. We break the Satan ring of terror. Uh, the devil ring of terror is over right now in the name of Jesus over your life and your family life. And I pray for prosperity because a lot of you need to prosper. Amen. And your credit scores will go up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I pray for unexpected checks that given to y'all 
that you will have more than enough in Jesus' name. Amen. Anybody have a baby? Amen. They will have the form, they have the, get the formula, and the favor will be on you to get whatever you need in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Nobody need to pray no, no, no bad stuff on nobody because people need to be blessed right now. So I release the blessing and no curses. Any curse was spoken against anybody is uprooted in Jesus' name and sent back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. When we bless the name of the Father. I thank all of you on here. Amen. Thank you for your uh, donation. Amen. Don't forget that now, okay? <laughs> and we'll be back on Monday. Ain't that right, Prophetess? Natalie? Yes, ma'am. Um, Tuesday I'll be on not Wednesday and Thursday school is out so uh, my school that I'm teaching it won't start back until January because I have a conference coming up and we want uh, on that right now in November 5th and 6th so she's going to make an announcement about that and she'll make an announcement I'll be on Tuesday she's going to open up in prayer then I'm going to come on after and uh, with the word you know I like to come up with the word that's how I walk in anointing and then I'm going to come on and minister to you and what God has me to minister you in dreams and visions. All right? So, it, amen, man, man. Uh, any curses amen. from the past that's been spoken of your life is uprooted too, in Jesus' name. Any curse that was spoken in the past of your life is uprooted right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, all y'all are curse free right now in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. 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 Yes. So I release the spirit of uh, prosperity. Too many people are cursing. Christians are cursing. This this release things. We know some people, but God is a merciful God and He wants you to prosper. So I'm releasing what God tell me to do. So favor, I release God's favor on all of y'all. Amen. Favor on your job, favor on your business, favor in your ministry, favor in what you do for God. Wherever you go, I'm asking God to give you favor. Amen. And I pray that blessings will start chasing after you. You don't have to chase after no more. I pray that it will chase after you, that you're able to do the things for God wants you to do, and God get the glory. Amen. I pray for marriage. Those that wait on their husband. Amen. I'm not asking for no dead Boaz, because Boaz died the first night with a Ruth. Y'all know that, don't you? Amen. It was seven, seven years Amen. old. You know what? No Amen. Dead, dead Boaz. Amen. Let's God bring a live Boaz with Abraham. Amen. And Jacob like that. Amen. On your life. Amen. And men for your wife. Amen. A Ruth and a virtual woman in the name of Jesus. He's been bringing that to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And break those soul ties. I'm asking God to break those soul ties that y'all was connected to trying to bring you down and hinder you. It's uprooted right now through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every evil word that was spoken against you and your family is uprooted right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No weapon formed against no one on this line. And your family shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Or your marriage now, or your marriage should be, or your family, your children, siblings, all. I pray that all your siblings that's close to you will all will be saved and not go to hell. Amen. In Jesus' name. He heard my prayer with my uncle. He just made it in. I prayed. Amen. And God said, because your obedience to me, I make sure your uncle repent before he left. Amen. And I thank God for honoring, my, honoring the words that he speak to me. He said, I will honor the words out of your mouth, Lord, and it will come to pass. Don't you do what I say. Amen. So please be encouraged. Amen. God is moving for you. Amen. So rest good tonight. Sleep good tonight. Amen. We'll, we'll meet you again back on Monday when uh, Prophet Tina, I mean Prophet Tina, Prophet Tina, if you want to come and be a covenant partner, amen, Prophet Tina will give you a telephone number. She'll put it on the uh, comments, and then she's going to give you the number two. Amen. You want to be a covenant partner with us? Let us know. Prophet is going to be uh, Mr. Shirley. Prophet is Shirley. She was a covenant partner with me a long time. Amen. And now she's uh, not a member. She's a disciple in this ministry. I don't think members, there's no members in the Bible. Amen. How long will you use a covenant partner, uh, 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 Mr. Shirley? Oh, Lord, I think I started back there in, uh, I want to say maybe been 09. Yeah, she's been, been a part ever since, and she just turned to be a disciple, amen, uh, which we call disciple, under this ministry, and, and uh, God has been really blessing her, amen, since she's been in the ministry, amen. 
Amen. So you want to be part of it, be a disciple. Let uh, uh, Prophet Tina know, and uh, and you want to be a covenant partner. Let her know. If you want to know about the ministry, she's gonna explain everything, and Prophet Nana gonna get information. Prophet uh, uh, Nana is uh, is uh, been doing a good job of advertising and doing other stuff. And Jackie all trade, and Tina is too. Tina has a ministry already. They both does, and I support the ministry. Amen. They're powerful Amen. women of God. Amen. Amen. So this is thing, she's, she's my sister that she's not anointed. She got a ministry already. And I believe in support the ministry. She's been a long time. She's been, how long, 19 years now? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. She's a woman of God, and she loves the Lord. She's a prophetess. Amen. And uh, uh, she's hot, uh, calling on the law. Amen. Amen. So she's anointed. And if God leads her to give you a word, she will give you a word. I told her it's okay. Because I know she get the right word. And Prophet is Natalie too. Bring it out too. She's so Prophet is too. And when she pray, I say, it's okay to minister. You got to give people a chance. You can't hold Amen. people back. Amen. So I release it when God tell me it's time to release them. Because I want them to be ready when they go out there. That's what a leader is supposed to do. A leader is not supposed to push out there and let the alligators eat you up. They're supposed to uh, be led by the God to make sure that you're ready. That you be uh, ready to face what you got to face. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. So I thank God for all of you. Just be encouraged. Amen. Your time is coming. God's doing a quick work. And so don't think you ain't going to be going out there doing something. Oh, y'all going to be doing something. For the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. One person Amen. can't do everything. No leader can't do everything. So leader should not be all that way. If I get an attack on you, I see. That's okay. Then it's time to release you. I'm release you. Amen. So. I, that's why I believe in the, what the word of God say. Amen. You can't hold people back. You got to release them. So when God to release them, release them. That's the right time. So be ready. Amen. So God be the glory. Amen. So I thank God for some of you students on here. Uh, went to the uh, uh, class of prophet. Amen. And apostles and how to walk in the gifts. Amen. That's class one. So the next semester, class two, will start in uh, January. Amen. And Prophet Tina is going to hand out the... Uh, Pretty soon, the uh, certificate for those that took the first class. Is that right, Prophet Tina? Yes, ma'am. Next week. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, this week coming. Okay. This week coming. <laughs> now, yes. Okay. I'm not ordaining nobody because you got to go to the next class. But if your leader sees fit to ordain you, they're, they're ordain you. Okay? <laughs> You're just going to class right now. Amen. It's good. And in fact, I'm learning as well. I give class. Amen. We learn all the time. Nobody has a ride. Amen. So I thank God for all of you on here today. And have a blessed day. Be encouraged. Amen. Prophet is going to close it out. And she's going to let you know I'll be back on Tuesday and back on Friday. Not on Wednesday. And I'm going to get a break in between Wednesday and Thursday. So I'll be back on Tuesday at um, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, Natalie. Not 12 Amen. Okay. Yes, yeah. it'll be 8 o'clock. We're going to be on there all night. <laughs> if you're not on this, stop praying. Because yeah, I know you work. Amen. We'll get it started. You come on when you get ready, okay? When you get a chance. Amen. And I know you've been faithful. And I thank God for your faithfulness. How long have you been with us? Ten years, Apostle. Okay. God bless you. Amen. And Mother Gail is with, along with her, her daughter, uh, Tina's mother. She's been with the same time Prophet Tina is. Amen. So they've been with a long time. Amen. So. I'm so glad. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we thank God for all of you. So be encouraged. Amen. Don't get down and out because God's going to bless y'all. Amen. Church, amen. 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 I'm going to get off the line. God bless everybody. Love you in the Lord. Amen. And be encouraged. Jesus loves you. And don't forget, God has heard your prayer with your family and your children. Amen. God bless you. Close it out. I'm getting off. Bye-bye. Amen. Bye-bye, Facebook. God bless you. Good to have you on. Takesha, you already healed in your eyes. It's already done. God touched you already in Jesus' name. Amen.